One more time. One more time. We're back. A dinosaur story. <laughs> that was good. That was good to me. Wait, was that the one where the dinosaurs end up becoming like terrible monsters? No, they no. start off as sentient and only for like three seconds, but the power of good always triumphs. Yeah, that's, right. that's well, the moral of the. No matter how much story. time you the waste, the power of Jersey love. Do. Okay, correct. Yeah. Or is it New Yorker love? I forget. Also, Crow's the guy in that, and it's amazing. It's my favorite scene of fear ever. It doesn't make any sense in the movie, but man, is it great. That whole movie is. But I'm alone, and it makes me scared. And oh, don't eat me! The, the bad guy gets it in the end. Spoiler. <laughs> the, the first time I ever saw that man was babysitting me, and I wanted to, she wanted to watch Chucky, so she just fast forwarded through the whole thing and was like, "Oh, the movie's over," and I was like, "Oh, I guess it's the movie." <laughs> oh, that was. I didn't know seconds. for years until I was older. I was like, "Wait, this isn't the whole." Well, did movie. you know that there was a trend among parents to start finding Nemo at scene two, school days, mm-hmm. so you don't have to watch the mom get murdered? No, it's it's implied. It's fine. <laughs> no, they That's need to see it. Stupid. Mm-hmm. I mean, what I had to watch it? Bambi's mom get shot. Yeah. I, I had to watch all the yellow go down to brown town. For lots of reasons. Oh my but god. Oh. It's coming back. Civilized people have forks. I'm growing it back. Yeah, and the dishwasher. Oh. So, uh, now that everybody is done talking, uh, hey everybody, I'm Sol Rose. These are my friends. Hello. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> and we are here to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition That's in our fair. continuing That's weekly fair. campaign uh, that we're playing. Obviously, it's Sol Rose Main Game. Did you put um, the thing in the guy's place? The Ambrosia for today is going to be Divine Resistance. D4, D6 to a saving throw, 200 biddies for D4, 600 biddies for D6. No. Jamming is dancing like I don't, know what I, I don't know what I was dancing got to. got devs everywhere. Um, They're all empty, it's fine. I'm not an alcoholic. Sure what did you say? Something about? I was talking to Ben. Did no. you put the thing in the thing? Yeah, I did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. The Put the thing in the, in the sink. Yeah, the thing, stuff. Um, thing in the place with the guy. Yeah. So we are doing a giveaway, a D and D related giveaway at 200 followers or 10 subs, whichever one comes first. So if that's your thing, tell friends, see if they want to uh, sub. I, I oh, gosh, shave. I'm sorry, Scuba. Please don't uh, <laughs> don't be scared. Don't be alarmed. It's already <laughs> starting to grow back. So hopefully it'll be quick. I hope. Deep down inside. Until then, I will remain ornery and unhappy, so uh, <laughs> test me at your own peril. Um, with that being said, uh, anybody have anything? Shout out? Somebody wants to do a shout out? Mm-hmm. If you want to, yeah, go ahead. Um, oh, fuck. If you're. Oh, my phone's not here. Well, uh, her phone's not here. Shout out, shut down. I'll have to do it next week. <laughs> Alright, so whoever you are that she wanted to shout out, you'll have to wait till next week. Um, <laughs> You good? Anything? 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 Last call down at the bottom there? Alright. So, uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z, Freeze and Spell, Cell for, join forces. I say that every time. But <laughs> that's because it's a terrifying combination and they just keep doing it. Well, I you know? thought, I It's thought a winning it was, strategy, yeah. apparently, but when you DMs run out of new characters to draw. I thought because the Freeze and Cell never enough characters to draw. On repeat for like but six what years. happened in D and D last week? Oh right, that's that's so we're yeah. now that we're not on Dragon Ball Z. Um, so last week was the Frozen Moon Festival, our Christmas special uh, that we did on Monday last week. It's up on YouTube and it's up on the uh, the video manager on here, the vods. So if you enjoyed it, I know it got a pretty decent amount of people watched it. So I hope they enjoyed it. I hope they enjoyed the Frozen Moon Festival, the first Frozen Moon Festival where we were not all kidnapped and horrible mm-hmm. things didn't happen. Yeah, but. You at least got to enjoy the true... We got to enjoy an actual festival for the once. The actual super festival. Weird. We kept waiting for something yeah. to happen. We were like, are we just going to have fun? <laughs> like, I have a shout out to my cat, Salazar. He's cool. You have a cat right. named Salazar? That's pretty baller. I mean, that is a baller name, huh? Yeah. We'll call him Sal for short? No, no, call him better call him Slytherin. Slytherin. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you guys, uh, after experiencing some traumatic loss... Or unexpected loss at the hands of a mysterious disappearance of three of your party members. Unexpected uh, is better than traumatic. I feel like for him it'd be more traumatic. I know. I he still traumatic. has like 14 days left of trauma to deal with. 14 days. As, lo- as opposed to like, you know, for the rest of his existence. 14 days. Anyway, um, D&D rules and weird rules. That's I can fine. handle stuff. Right. You're <laughs> obviously no. I can a stuff. hero. So, um, you guys uh, ran about town. With at first doing regular errands and then realizing that something was afoot, um, so you guys began to sort of attempt to piece together what happened unsuccessfully, I might add. Extremely. However, uh, in the process, you managed to pick up some new compatriots to assist you 
Uh, you regaled them with the purpose of your temporary quest, and they all seemed gung ho. Uh, we introduced three new characters with Shale, Nadral, and Lucrezia. Lucrezia, thank you. Oh, I did write it down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, I wrote the other two here, and then I wrote yours here for some reason. Which is why they're not cool enough to get out. cool little name tags because I um I'm not I, I didn't make that's my that's cool name tag. tag. I, I have, I work Speaking of, where's my name tag? I don't know. Oh, you threw it somewhere. For Theta? It should be there. For yeah, everyone. Fell. Anyway, so, uh, you guys picked up these new adventuring compatriots, and on your on your search to find where, you know, find your next step, essentially, uh, you kind of took a, a brief detour into enjoying the festival mm-hmm. to the best of your ability. Um, well, you followed Mr. Delil into the Noble District where he participated in the Passage of Arms, the uh, oh, yeah. annual Knights Tournament, and unexpectedly, with his victory, One. due to some <laughs> very poor rolls, like six <laughs> nat ones, I think, in a row, which you can see me roll. <laughs> on the vibe. I was going to put one up on uh, Twitter. I fucking took a picture. After, like, fucking number four, I took started taking pictures of him. <laughs> I have him on my phone, because I was like, this is unbelievable. Um, so... He came out victorious against some challenge rating, I think, three, and one was five. So by himself, no big deal. Show, just showing you how absolutely fucking broken Paladin can be. Even though he didn't even get to Divine Smite, he would have done way more fucking damage if he could Divine Smite. So, um, took, place, uh, took part in the Passage of Arms. You guys enjoyed the flying. Uh, you guys enjoyed some of the smaller booths that were out there. You guys got some elaborate cheesesteaks, staple of the country. That's how it I'll allow it. <laughs> Started as a joke, turned into a thing. Fuck it. Who cares? Let's, <laughs> let's um, Only from a wealthy land can you have cheesesteaks. Yeah. Oh my god. All the ingredients that. needed in order to... I spelled it like the rock. Like the rock. So she spelled it Sad. D-W-A-N-E. Yep. Or Y-E. <laughs> <laughs> That's funnier if I can spell. Anyway, um, <laughs> SMRT, bro. <laughs> SMRT. Um, so you guys, uh, and then at the end of the festival, you guys participated in the Queen's Veil, where Queen of Alavra released her veil into the air, oh. manipulating yeah, some we magic. Uh, and again, unexpectedly, I did not expect at all for you guys to win that. That was not <laughs> intentional. However. Uh, all, like, five groups of villagers rolled under the required number. So it was fucking magical. And us. <laughs> it, uh, was and and it was a me. It was a Christmas miracle. miracle. So with that being said, uh, our, our uh, Modron, Mr. Theta, managed to find it. He found the veil and was able to return it. Uh, upon reaching the center of the, the town, he was met by the High Confessor. Uh, the High Confessor escorted him in, attempting to gain a uh, gleam insight into his intention, obviously. You wouldn't really want any just random schmo meeting your uh, sovereign under the uh, under really any pretext. That's how you pull off an assassination attempt. Exactly. And we so were there last time. Why not set one of the scariest people you know <laughs> to go handle that? So, uh, the Royal Confessor talked to you briefly. He escorted you all the way through the Noble Districts, through Patrician's Gate, into the Blue Memorial Square, where you came face to face with the queen, hello, the king, hello. Uh, a number of nobles, uh, and amongst her personal consort of people or, or friends, I guess you could say, um, her one lady entourage really is what I was off. looking for. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, that is where we left off. So, is there anything you guys would like to do before we get any any last minute? Hey, really quick, I wanna. Do I have a house here? Do does he have a house here? Yeah. Yeah. He has a family home. It's not his house. No. Does he look rich? So uh, having having seen our, our no. resident noble mouthpiece <laughs> that doesn't turn off, <laughs> yeah, be escorted by the high confessor. <laughs> Privately, in to see the queen and the king. Natural. Oh, okay, okay. No. Do you, I thought I was can like, we, can we, up here. Can and uh, he stays in the, he's apprentice, so he stays in, okay. he has a quarters. I didn't think about that before. Just wish for the best. Everyone, it's been an honor to know all of you <laughs> for the day that we've met. <laughs> There's a 50-50 chance that it will get us all killed. Why do you keep him alive? Because he's my friend. Aww. Aww. He's my friend. But he's killing you? Yeah. Put me he's friend. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> they say the some of the best right friends now, right? shall uh, try to get you killed. Yeah, we can only wait. Never talk about that. You're not sure that's true. Yeah, I'm not sure that's true. It's a weird sentiment. We can only we can only wait. 
Tiresias almost got killed by one of his friends. Yeah. <coughs> well, Tiresias friends don't kill friends. Tiresias is <laughs> best friend. Head <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Uh, so probably around nine, ten tonight. Seven forty-one. You're <laughs> well. <laughs> Uncomfortable uh, fear. Call it salad for short. Yeah. Salad. Um, wait. Uh, no what you say? Seven eight at night or no? As one. Nine. Ten. To ten. Okay. I thought you meant legitimately, and I was like, I'm sorry. That's okay. I thought you were joking. I'm being helpful. Um, this is the last event of the night. The yeah yeah okay um. What are you guys doing? So we're selling fried dough. Waiting for Thayer to come back. She's curious. Well, we've been staying at the mysterious chimney. I'm sure he'll return there if he doesn't find us. We got rooms that are paid up too. Yeah. yeah. And um, honestly, I, if all of you would like, there's. Three free rooms paid through the week. Uh, I have an uh, engagement with my family, but I will be over afterwards. I understand it is the Frozen Moon Festival. I'll take a free room. Fair enough. Free food, too. Mm-hmm. A drink. And drink. Not the special stuff, though. And my master will be locked in a room for approximately a week. So. Then let us go enjoy the drink. All He'll right. probably be back tomorrow. He's gone today. He's not, you know he's not locked in his tower today. Mm. He's gone today. Hiding, probably. But he will be back. Or yoinked. He will be back. He's in a field somewhere going, Yeah, you're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, no, that's why you specifically we all beat up every year and hide together. <laughs> yeah. Because we think in life. They hide together so that way you can all get pulled together. Yeah. That's what you're expecting. As opposed to alone. Yeah. <laughs> With a group of random fucks. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll go to the administration. Okay, so you guys all hang out in the, um, are you guys are in the patrician district, right? You're watching on, or did you oh, stay I'm, into... Oh, I'm waiting for Theta. Okay, you guys are waiting in the noble right. district? Because I kind of let him get taken by the high confessor. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to guilt there. You let him sit get through the, Nielsen. Pick up the pieces, we'll wait for a bit, and then... So, for you, sir, as you are escorted through the patrician's gate, everyone, here's a path for you, uh... You know it's not for you, it's for the, the High Confessor. However, you are the victor, or the, well be for the winner. So everyone does kind of, they're like, oh, there's like, there's mixed emotions. There's surprise that you have the, the item, and everybody's kind of like happy that, you know, oh, it was found this year, or, you know, somebody actually managed to get it. And then there's that buffer of like, oh, okay, well, that guy's kind of weird. You know, just mails like going. all over town. Yeah. They've never been found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's invisible forever. People trip on it. It's funny. No, fucking Noah goes out and picks it up by himself. <laughs> Shitty citizens. Stupid townspeople. <laughs> what Can't see an invisible scarf. Seriously. Well, no one has located out here? Jesus. Um, Fox, fairy fire? We taught this at the school. They should know this. <laughs> so, you Spicy. are, um... You walk, it's a very slow walk, and as you move, even time itself seems to slow down, because you are, it's this long kind of walk, and you're walking at very measured pace. You keep pace with the person next to you, yeah. as he seems to set it. Um, he always seems to stay at, like, an angle, sort of catty corner to you. He's not necessarily walking maybe half step, you know, kind of in front of you. So you can always kind of see him, uh, right here, this, like, uh, tall, uh... Is he strapped? Yes. Yeah. He does have a, uh, he has a long sword on his hip that seems to be affixed to the armor itself. The hilt is built into the armor. It does not seem to be a belt removable. Or a frog, yeah, Correct. Gotcha. Um, and you do remember that his entire armor is solid. It's set somehow. Um, whatever mechanism this group uses in order to, you know, wear their armor, there are no, like, discernible... There are seams, but they're clearly a separate material. He has no skin. Visible skin showing on hmm. his entire body. Um... And more discerningly, as you've seen, full face. Hmm. He has a full face mel- uh, helmet, and then he has uh, the, the top of his armor, the breastplate, actually has the built-in neck guard that comes around in like this short and s- uh, larger, kind of starts off back. short, yeah. and it makes its way up. But then you notice that you can actually see there are that material, that seam material, and then actual strings of metal along his neck. So again, he keeps everything. He does not seem to supplement with chain mail, which is what common... Hmm. Chainmail and padded, yeah. padded yeah. leather. Uh, whatever material this is constructed from, the way that they make this specifically. It's on him? It is on him. And it is Can I tell what kind of metal it is? Uh, sure. It's a basic level of steel. Oh, from Okay. It, it is steel, just the masterwork required to get his exact measurements mm-hmm. in it's, the work through. It is a well-tailored suit. Yes. For, yeah. A bespoke suit. Yes. 
And then, he, of course, his weird helmet that has two spikes coming back and then one long one that comes back in the, in the top. All pointed pretty much straight back. Sure. Um, and then it's a solid plate face with no mm-hmm. markings. No holes, anything. no anything. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, and he just walks. He keeps... Does he uh, say anything? After your initial conversation, and he, he kind of looks around. His head kind of keeps this, like, swivel. He nods to people randomly throughout the crowd. You're not sure if it's a specific people that he seems to be nodding to or just people in general, like an acknowledgement, because you can't see a facial expression, so you don't really know if he's acknowledging their existence or not, or whether or not it's, you know, oh, I know that guy, so, you know, kind of thing. Just all but the eyed. you uh, cross through Patrician's Gate, through the, the Noble District, into the Blue Moro Square, where you find it's everyone sort rock. of... It is. Uh, where you find everyone... I mean, Data will say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long yeah. walk. Oh. Um, you get like a a nod. Uh, You've been doing this long. There's a pause for a minute, and then his head kind of turns, and he kind of like tilts his head down, and he's like, "Are you, are you talking to me?" <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> I've been doing this for about eleven years now. Oh, here right. in the city. That's that's longer than I've been anywhere here. I wish one was kind of gay as fixes for Where are you from? Nowhere in particular. I travel mostly. Uh, with many knights of our order, we tend to stay mobile and keeping the light alive anywhere we see fit. Huh. Sounds important. It's the most important. Um, <laughs> as uh, as you kind of <laughs> cross into that square, you are you are greeted. Give a couple greeted. seconds to talk about cops. <laughs> 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 you just like before you even know it, you're split in half, and you're like, what happened? <laughs> um, so you uh, you cross through uh, where eventually you do see the queen. She stands uh, poised in a sort of uh, look at his armor. Look at it. It's like me. Yeah, very similar. Um, I'm talking to Sprocket. The the uh, the uh, queen stands poised in front of the fountain in the square. Uh, adjacent to her, probably about ten feet, is uh, is the king. He kind of he's leaning in and talking. You notice that the crowd itself that's gathered around the outside of the square they leave a wide berth, obviously for everyone in the middle. Um, she is currently flanked by two larger gentlemen uh, and a woman, and then a very large gentleman uh, in full plate mail. You know, he's got the sash on. He's got the ribbons. He's He's got a big shooting grin on his face. Um, stocky, wide, set head. Um, but yeah, this sort of pers- uh, scene plays out, and as you get to a certain point, you see the hand of the confessor stop you at a, at a reasonable distance, at which point he puts his hand out, presumably for the item. Oh, he takes it from you. He takes it from you. <laughs> you can have this back. Um, but I have he, no uh, use for it. It's been sitting here for forever. Yeah, uh, well... I think I spilled beer once. He, um... Oh no, it was for the pasta that I brought that one time. He, he takes the uh, veil from you. Not pasta. He approaches, he kind of gives a nod to the queen. She, she nods back, he gives it to her, at which point she places the veil back on her head. It covers oh. the front of her face. Um, it is transparent, so you can still see her. It's a veil. Her, yeah, it's a veil. Um, and she stands there for a minute, and as she does, the crowd erupts into kind of cheers and, and chants. They're like, yeah! You know, had, having uh, successfully completed. Uh, the king claps. Uh, he's got like a smile on his face. The queen waits, and then fireworks off the year. wall Whee! from up top. Um, you just see these large streamers of of smoke trail leading into a with various colors that erupt into the sky itself. Um, and as it does, you can hear a voice coming from the queen. And as the voice reaches you. It almost quiets out everything else around you, but you can still tell that it's going off. People are looking up in wonder, at which point the queen very calmly, very controlled. What is your question? Do you want to go into it here, or do you want to leave it a secret? Uh, if you want to leave it a secret, that's fine. Yeah, we can. Solid. Should we? Okay. Should we leave? No, no, no. Okay. We've already talked. Um, about it. Yeah, oh, okay. we, t- we talked about it offline. So you, uh, there is uh, probably about a good couple moments. She discusses. Uh, well, I mean, do you want to do it for... Yeah, that's what I mean, like, the, what about no. the viewers? No? Sorry, guys. It's so much better if you don't know. 
it'll, it really it'll come up eventually. Ah, okay. okay. But oh yeah. So Not after long. after a moment or two, you also seem to notice that with your line of questioning, the royal confessor seems to look at you more. Like as the first couple, <laughs> as the first one comes out, it's like pretty it's stoic. Like, Everyone's oh. kind of enjoying the atmosphere. Yeah. And then as the question seems to evolve from your dialogue, you notice his head. He begins to kind of turn towards you. And then uh, he kind of looks away for a minute. Um, you have your exchange. Uh, she nods to you. At which point... Uh, I'm, I need to roll a performance check. I'm going to attempt a courtly bow. <laughs> I believe in I you. have never done one of these before. You can do Ooh, it. Uh, clang! <laughs> Not great. That was an eight. Or is that a six? No, it's a nine. Oh, how does that... Wait. Yeah. No, it's got the little hump under it. See? There's a hump. Oh, well, hump. Oh. hump. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's an eight. So with a... With a... <laughs> <laughs> Roll up. He's like that turtle. Um, the queen <laughs> so ma- curtsy. maintains she nods. At which point, uh, as you're doing this whole thing, the confessor kind of jumps back for a minute. Just like that little... Uh, yeah. Uh, reactionary. Do I have to kill him? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> um... The, uh, the, the two larger gentlemen, the two burlesque sort of gentlemen, uh, both kind of, they laugh amongst themselves. Uh, you notice they begin to talk with the woman you saw earlier, who was menacing Nadral. They begin to sort of converse back and forth. The king joins them, at which point the queen nods to you. Everyone kind of like begins to get quiet again, not unsure what's happening, and then as she departs, Goodbye. the crowd goes back to... Uh, being loud. They gather up, you notice the guards kind of begin to move in. You you see you can see them in the crowd, basically you saw, you know, their their spears, but as the their group kind of condenses, you see them begin to sort of pop Blank. out yeah. and then uh, they begin to exit back towards the back towards the keep, the king waving everybody as as the night begins to wind down. Um, as the fireworks die, all of you standing amongst the open, you see people begin to it's like a half half assed teardown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, people begin to pass out drinks. They begin to laugh and joke as they kind of take stuff down and kind of lounge about. A lot of people begin going take home. The guy like takes two chairs, puts in the middle of the thing, and then just walks away. Well, no, he takes two, chairs. two chairs and goes towards the direction he's yeah. going, and then sets yeah. them down as close as his route takes him to that he's direction, like, and then just yeah. Or like he <laughs> takes a pin out of one of the posters, takes a drink. Yeah. Take yeah, I was thinking more like <laughs> like he takes the chair and he puts them on top of the table and he just sits on the table. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I did something. Throw I a tarp did this. over yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. That's a tomorrow problem. Yeah. He just walks up to a shop, kicks it, and everything just falls off. And he's like, All right, we did it. done. Cool. Sits on it. Pulls yeah, you notice. <coughs> you notice like the the little like the... axe throwing targets and stuff are just being like knocked down. They're like, All right, moving on. Need <laughs> that for tomorrow, me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tomorrow, me, we're really be upset. Uh, people begin drinking. Uh, a lot of the families depart, however, uh, people that run shops here and the people that you really, you know, just hanging out, um, they're drinking, having fun, revelry, uh, sort of the after party, if you will, probably will extend until morning, um, from now until morning. So you guys are free to do whatever you want. Is the high confessor walking me out or do you just like... Yeah, I wonder that. He dipped. Peace. Uh, uh, as soon as, uh, as they, as they started leaving, he kind of stood there for a minute, he kind of lagged behind and then, yeah, he just kind of begin walking towards the, the keep as well. Okay. Huh. So I'm going to go back to the conversation with Sprocket about recreational explosions. <laughs> Fair enough. So, as you uh, heading back towards <laughs> Monolith... doesn't make any sense to me, but it's cool. Explosion means something bad happened. Mm-hmm. And they just put them in the air and people cheer and it doesn't make any but sense. But they were colorful. I mean, That's colorfuls, it. yeah, I understand that. But, but still, I've seen colorful explosions before. You ever seen the Tinker's house go up? Mm. I like when the DM plays Sprocket. <laughs> no, they're colorful. I know Sprocket, but who okay. cares? What's the point? Sprocket got back. No, okay. he's dead. He's dead. Okay. We've had this conversation. This mouse is deceased. But when you do the thing... I just don't care. Okay. That's, well. It's Cog answering back. No. Cog's different. This is Sprocket. <laughs> Two different things. Cog's not hard to understand. Than Sprocket. He's he's having no. an internal discussion with himself. <laughs> That's yeah, not how gears work. It. It's a ratio. It'd be any size you want him to be. You need him to be. That's how machines work. Don't make me open my head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that a threat? <laughs> Did you just threaten? <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? We're at the mysterious chimney. We're at the mysterious chimney. Yeah. Yeah. Mysterious chimney. 
All right, so you all decide to... You uh, just sound like someone inviting people out to a bar. Serious chimney? Serious, serious chimney? Serious chimney? Oh, yay! Okay. <laughs> There's just that one random person. Franks? Franks? Yeah. Franks? Not you. Sir, I thought you were... Franks, you loud! Let's go! <laughs> As you guys all turn, there's that, that one random village who's like, yeah, I could go to the mysterious chimney. You want to go? I pat him on the shoulder. Well, let's go, then. <laughs> <laughs> this night ain't over. Chairs. You recognize right. him from Ladeen. Same guy, just standing there going, that's a good plan. Like this. <laughs> he's just been following you the whole time. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Like 30 feet back, and he's been, been dividing your EXP with another member. I am. Oh, no. <laughs> no. He be our NPC companion. No. He actually. He <laughs> just <laughs> agrees with you. He's he doesn't a yes man. Fight. That's all he yeah. does. You think it's a good idea? Yeah. Do you think it's a bad idea? Yeah. Yeah. He led the Grimlock. It's the best bad idea, though. It's the best bad idea, though. Of all the bad ideas, the best one. It's the worst great idea ever. Right? So, uh, you guys uh, make your way through Monolith, through this sort of uh, thinning crowd. Uh, the side streets are more packed than the main thoroughfares. People are exiting, obviously. And you kind of follow along with the crowd lackadaisically to uh, eventually hitting to the mysterious chimney. Uh, you see that uh, this party is in full swing. Oh. As, the, nice. as soon as you uh, kind of hit that street, you can hear this raucous coming from an open uh, tavern door. And people are spilling out, they're laughing, and they're joking, they're drunk, um, they're just having a good old time. Lights coming from inside, you notice that uh, as you push your way past this sort of like large crowd within the center of the, uh, within the center of the mysterious chimney, uh, the uh, owner is currently in full swing getting people drinks, he's like, ah, people are getting drunk, they're falling over, um, and this whole place seems to be pretty much packed. But drinks, drinks, drinks. Cameron, could I get a juice? He's, oh, so I can see if amongst the crowd he hears that. Absolutely not. Um, you see, as he's like, he's like, you think he points at you and nods, but you're not sure. There's hands up. Um, however, as you guys are uh, uh, kind of like, oh, he's pointing to people, and you see him pointing to other people, and he's like, uh, he actually has help coming okay. in. These uh, sort of men and women, not really dressed in any particular sense. There's no real delineation between them and other patrons, except that they're actually asking people, like, hey, you want, I can go get you something, like, do you want something? Um, and so as you say that, as you point, and you kind of pass over, you're like, he got that. Another guy comes up, and he's like, hey, do you, do you need something, sir? Uh, juice, please. All right, juice. Ale. Ale? Uh, you said drinks are paid out? What's, like, the... Not the most expensive. All right, right below the most expensive. I mean, we got scotch. That's that's our best thing, scotch. Okay. You want a scotch? Just want a regular scotch? Yeah. Gotcha. I'll take a regular wine. scotch. Wine. Gotcha. Regular Are scotch. I don't think it'll be that back yet because I, I, I'm not fighting my way through the crowd, and I imagine yeah. the crowd is rather thick and leaving that area. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah. I'm having a conversation. <laughs> is this guy? With a mouse. Here? Move. What are your friends you missing? No. Just What's your name? Smile. Huh? What's your name? Trevor. Trevor. Like, you want that's a drink? not his name. That's no. That's yeah. Help. Yeah. Drink the okay. tar. You want a drink? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a weird silence for a minute. And he's like, "Okay, let's grab a tail." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys all uh, squeeze in to the tail end of a large uh, sort of like seating table, probably that fits like. 12 people, like it's a decent sized uh, table, but it's currently half filled up and you have to squeeze through people that drinking. are... Yeah. Or family uh, style drinking. <laughs> you uh, you, you kind of have to move around some people that are loitering, you know, just on the outside, kind of barring that uh, passage, but eventually you all take a seat together, uh, a little cramped in, Trevor just kind of stands there. It's a nice bar. I like it. It's a nice place. Yeah. It's good. You got 50 gold there. Mysterious Scotch is amazing. Not a 50 gold? Nah, I don't either. Do we have enough for that mysterious scotch? No. I that's don't. not paid up. Mm. I up. have enough for multiple. <laughs> <laughs> multiple mysterious scotches. I have some money. Um, so, after a moment or two, uh, a little bit longer than usual, obviously, due to the, the dense... What unacceptable. Yeah. Um, your little uh, server comes over and he begins to Ale hand juice. out... He begins to hand out the... Uh, what's up? Ale juice. Can I get a scotch zero? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I get a Zima? <laughs> One diet scotch, please. Why not? Look, Zima. What Zima? We're not debating. We're about to be Perfect. not friends. Time traveling wizard! What? We're about to be not friends. Uh oh, come on. Zima. Zima. We can drink what he wants to drink. Just take a tab then. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys enjoy your drinks. But go ahead, whatever you want to do. Pop off my helmet. Take a look at this fucking. 
The collective gasp. No, no one cares. Sure. <laughs> I, I take. I just want to take a look at the symbol I got from the king. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Saw so, gold, silver, inlaid of the symbol of a lava, the circular leaf pattern. Seems to clasp together. Sorry. And a hook. Uh, how long do you guys attack for? I live here. I don't know. Initially, we were just here to do some quests with the Adventurers Guild and move on, I guess, but now. Are the Adventurers Guild? Yeah. And I would like to withdraw. We don't have anything, do we? No. Mm-hmm. That's any, the other game. We don't have yes. any badges. That yet. was you. Uh, you haven't gotten them yet, yeah. but yes, you do. You oh, feel like paperwork and you We've got a lot of shit to have badges. <laughs> Actually, no, timeline wise, it's been like four days. Badges. Yeah. It's, it's been like, four We just spent, no, we just spent oh, no. most of it in the other yeah. Yeah. city. In, in Ladine for a little bit. Okay. Punching Grimlocks. Yeah, we uh, we were just here to do some quests for the Adventurers Guild, and then now everybody's gone disappearing on me. I tell you, don't fuck with the gods. Oh, well, that about? should be, you know. Yeah, but I mean like one to one. One to one. Don't mess with them one to one. What's that do with anything? Theta can go into it more detail. He's got this stuff about cog, but some guy showed up out of a door in the middle of a road and gave us an item and that's where they've all gone. Good item. It was a squishy, he called it a dream sphere. The craziest thing, uh-huh. right? So you know this door over here, it swings, most doors have hinges. This door, <laughs> sounded like some kind of snake. I want to inside and make sure it's not like on something. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a lava and opium. Oh. Nice. You, he's definitely not on something. Yo, he's telling the truth. Whole hundred percent. I have modifiers. He's legit. Too legit. At least to the best of your ability, Mm -hmm. he believes it. Okay. And you don't know any magics that could make him believe otherwise. So there is just it's it's been a whole thing. So so either he is legitimately telling the truth, or he's crazy, or he is a very convincing psychopath. (laughs) Like, do I think he's crazy at all? No. No? Okay. Not necessarily. There's Motherfucker, there was a cat walking around earlier on its hind legs, just <laughs> smoking a pipe in the street. There's floating letters. Anything's possible. Also magic. Also magic. <laughs> yeah. There's a walking around like a frog. That's right. He bumped into that was like looked very upset. I don't speak frog. So. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Flying monkeys. Mm-hmm. So That's flying. just cool. That's normal. Are you still going to do a quest for the Adventuring Guild? probably have to for capital, but first and foremost, I'd like to, whenever Shale feels comfortable with it, meet with his uh, master and just maybe talk to the guy, see if there's anything we can do. Mm-hmm. Miller does not turn his back on his friends. That's admirable. So you're a Miller? My father is. <laughs> I had the same reaction just now. <laughs> You're an adventurer, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging out with a book now. Um, when are you going back to the adventuring guild? Yeah. Probably in the morning. Oh, I, uh, I'll join you. Yeah, I should probably go to them. I have uh, something I'm I need to do there. Part of it, but I'm sure it's not that hard. What did you have to do to get in? Paperwork. <laughs> no, no, it's so boring. Well, then we immediately got tasked with a <sighs> quest to go retrieve some goods from some kind of terrible demon beast in the woods. Oh, okay. That was horrible. Mm. That was fun. Oh, and then I kind of like undo and show her where I got stabbed by this the uh, the spine thing. manticore. The manticore spine. That I don't know what that is. A manticore. Yeah, it shot a spine right there. And then, um, oh, wow, oh. and then I'll take off my thing and show her the back of my head where I got clocked <laughs> twice. <laughs> oh, I have stuff like that. Double right tight. in the metal band. I'd have to take off my armor. Yeah. He knows. He knows. <laughs> oh, it wasn't from monsters or anything. It was from my mother. I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> At which point, uh, you definitely probably made it back. Huh. Definitely, ah, probably. Oh, ah, they got two different words. Come here. Hold on. We have, uh... Table for you and a yes man. That's a shady guy. Hello. It's the sh- Random Hello. NPC. This is Trevor. Villager. Trevor. Hello. He's just standing there like this. Trevor, take a Hello. seat. Hello. Trevor's pretty quiet. More friends here. Yeah. What do you do? 
I'm farmhand. Kind of sad. It's the best thing about farmhand. I get to work with my hands. <laughs> yeah, on the farm. Food. On a farm. Yeah. Oh. Give me cows. Shovel shit. Carry hay. Build fences. Sounds consistent. Pretty Pretty boring. <laughs> I just push his ale towards him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, today. Yes, yeah, fun. And you're not in pieces. Oh, oh congratulations. Why would I be in pieces? What? Why? Is that a... No, congratulations. I mean, something good happens. Oh, it's the Yeah, you, you've confessor. won the thing. That's a good thing. Is what he was worried about. Nobody else oh. the queen. Congra- not on the not getting terror pack thing. That's fucking oh. easy if you're not stupid. But <laughs> the veil thing, that's pretty cool. Nobody ever wins that. I have not been torn She's apart not today. Wrong. That's a good thing. Yes, thank you. I enjoyed it. It was easy. Cheese. Where'd you find it at? It's on the side of a building. <laughs> There's a drunk nearby. It's anticlimactic. It's over there. Which and I'll point <laughs> in exactly the direction in town it was, no matter, like, through a wall. I'm close to there. It's over there. I could have found it. Why didn't you find it? Because you found it first. I took my time. I, I was, was in no hurry. I, I didn't was know there was a prize. Too. I thought I could use magic to find it. I was wrong. <laughs> 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 I was still drunk. <laughs> And now I'm getting there again. Oh, so it's more like, I see everything <laughs> in the technicolor. I see things. I see them with my eyes. The world was black and white. Yes. Oh, he wants a beer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you wouldn't be. You're like, what should I roll? roll? What am I rolling? <laughs> what am I roll all the things? Do I roll for a brownie? <laughs> <laughs> no, roll the brownie. <laughs> oh, oh geez, that's, that's a like fucking it. mess. Oh. I think it's Maybe, like, is tails? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is yummy. Is it the straw prairie one? No. Is it a new one? The brewbarb. Yes. The brewbarb. Yeah, it's, it's my uh, lady. Oh, why would you call it that? Really Oh, worries. Barb. Strawberry brewbarb. Because we know what happened to Barb. Yeah. Oh. She was an idiot. No, Nancy she was, was a just slut. Isolated. Anyway. In a small town where a child was missing. Sounds like a terrible plan. Anyway, so <laughs> um, Trevor, that is a riveting story. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw her again. Someone named Barb. Was that in this town, Trevor? Do I know a Barb? You're not sure if he's drunk. Wait, I have a Barb. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard the story of Whoa. Gregory. Hmm. You know, he actually works in the that? military district. It's, I have well, met this Gregory. Isn't, this isn't the one. It stabbed him. Not this one. Hey, he showed me that. Yeah. What? It's, it's the thing you got stabbed by. Yes. I kept some. Not it's the like same one. It's like traumatic seeing it again one. like this in your face. No. We were There's under the car. People. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we were under a cart moving no, yeah, the cart I, I underneath. Think it's like, it was actually like, I didn't think it was five eyes. We went flew. We got they under the flew. cart and pushed and it back these. to town. Okay. And the thing was so mad that we had outwitted it that it hit me in the shoulder from outside. It was a really good shot. I mean, I had to... I had is to that what it. happened? So mm-hmm. this is something you to get paid to do? Mm-hmm. It shot the wheels and then he tried to grab the wheels and it, they were targeting him when, yeah. he, when he pulled it out of the wheels. <laughs> they were very clever. And then somebody else pulled it out of you, yes. I presume. Yes, uh, my friend Zongak very unceremoniously ripped it out of my shoulder. How mm-hmm. kind of him. Must be the reason it's scarred like that. Yes. No. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> Job name. It was I sort mean, of a pickup team. We didn't uh, really yeah. go into it planning. We don't have somebody that's like in the forefront or, or something mm-hmm. that can cast magic. Maybe to heal you people. should. Maybe when he no, got maybe, shot. Yeah, maybe you should get I mean, you still would have got shot. Those things were going. Yeah, it, we, it was all over the place. Oh, oh yeah, you were there. there was We've a almost died a couple times. Oh, I, I grabbed a bunch. Extremely extremely some of them. I didn't even bother picking them up again. There's a hail of them. Extremely. Not quite. Mm. But I guess I could use this as a class for a cloak. I don't. I, don't, I have no um, idea what I'm going to do with this thing. What? Oh, so, put it on your helmet. What else do you get paid to do for the adventuring guild? All jobs. So we far. killed a bunch of things. I yes. Really prefer okay. ocular. In interesting ways. And we tried impersonating one, but it didn't work. Do you pay a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Well, honestly, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the adventuring guild tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. I'll do some paperwork. But you can die. Well, you can die doing anything. That's not true. You can die walking out of this building fall hit your head. Mm. Well, I don't know about you. You're pretty round. You might roll. I already did that today. (laughs) Yeah. Is he dinged up at all? Like scratched off? Uh, he has like a baseball skin over surface. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. oh, yeah, you can't really tell. Huh? And a beanie. Well, I mean, you, I guess you know. I he has think a beanie over half his, yes, his weird baseball. So there's, <laughs> there's a dirt smudge on the front of my beanie. That's right. Um, oh, my God. 
uh, sorry, I was talking, thinking about the thing that you were talking that you and I were talking about. I'm just thinking of the beanie. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep shit. That's good, isn't it? Real, real cholo. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fold it down. Mm. But no, it's it's definitely interesting. We've had a lot of close encounters. Of the third kind. Of the fourth kind. Second kind? Physical. Well, it was the second kind. We had one encounter with the manacores, and then we went through, and then we had the. That was the second kind. So Mm -hmm. I meant just physical encounters. You know a lot of stuff for a farmhand forever. That you're forever. Yeah, he probably hears a lot. Magic? Whatever. The corn talk? Yeah, if you ever want to know how much magic there is in this town. (laughs) (laughs) Just let me put away the spell slot. Let me tell you. (laughs) Just uh, use the spell detect magic and your mind will be blown. (laughs) Wasn't this called like the magic city or city magic or something? Yes. I've lived here my whole life and I (laughs) kind of forgot that. Maybe you sort of see stuff from a new perspective. Don't be hard as hell. Alright, so we getting drunk? Yeah. Alright. What do you think of me? I have my use. Are we drinking? Are you drinking? Yeah. I'm feeling expensive tonight. Where is the bar? It's very packed. Yeah, it's very full. I think I know what you want. I think I'm willing to get some. Ooh. Me too. Magic scotch? Yeah. Oh. I'll get this round. I didn't know what was happening. For 100 gold. And I will slide out. Okay. My way up to the bar. Slide up to the bar, uh, you kind of work your way through uh, the crowd of people. A couple of them get out of your way, because um, you're packing. Sort of. Um, but no one else cares. Um, so you <laughs> eventually manage to reach the bar, uh, at which point, as he's looking around, he recognizes you from your... Six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I feel like I'm not counting that right, but there's six of us. Trevor, yes. Yeah. Trevor. <laughs> six <laughs> magic The unforgettable Trevor. This motherfucker's gonna get temporary hit points. Three. It's 300. 300 gold. <laughs> oh. He, uh, he slides it across and kind of counts it. You've already paid him once, so he, but he's just making sure. Yeah. You know, he does like he just the, ishes it. Does the, the oh. chip count. And he goes, I don't know if that was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, squeezes it, it all into the, into a drawer. It's all there. It's all there. The counter, I'm here for back. another seven days. <laughs> he, uh, so he begins pouring out these drinks. Uh, at which point he puts them on like a little tray and hands them to you. All right. I'm gonna guard these with my life. Okay. Oh, that would suck. Somebody oh, so he's gonna go for a drink. Get back, get back somebody to the group. fucking hits me. <laughs> he's taking three hundred gold out of job. <laughs> <to see. laughs> I just one of those. We're I'm going for it. Did you just make yourself broke by? Um, you need help. Oh. <laughs> I need a guard. Yes. <laughs> 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 Nadro, Nadro gets up, follows you, or uh, heads over as, as he sees you kind of panically holding this tray, looking for assistance. Aww. After dropping a giant pile of gold yeah. on the He gets up, heads over there. We gotta, um, we gotta make a hole. <laughs> Any person that gets too close, I'm just gonna put my hands on him and just say, no. I imagine you go, like, to people. Uh, they get out of your way. Um, just make eye contact. Sure. I'll say everyone, pretty much nicely enough, with, with the combined effort, gets out of your way. You get back to your table, you set them down, you begin handing out your uh, scotches. Everybody. Trevor. Ooh. This is that shit. I've never had this. You probably never will again. You should sip it. Oh, oh okay. That's, thank you for the advice. Thank you. not going to do that. Thank you. Clinks all the way around. Please. You guys begin to... And then Mechanical precision. You all gain eight temporary hit points. I have six on here. They're probably gone. They're gone. Because you're not that person anymore. No, no, that's a... Um, six temporary? Yeah. Yeah, from the last time we had scotch. No, no, she no. Did. no, no from, uh, a I don't thing. know why you, you have it. Thing. The thing she ate. Yeah, you ate a thing. Oh! The, the potion. Oh, yeah, the potion. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, it, this overrides that. So okay. Cool. That would still be an effect. You have to take damage. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I, I put a C, so that's my uh-huh. health. Price when you played <laughs> Three potion money if you got it wrong. The, oh. potion, the potion tasted fine. It just turned your skin. You want me to fuck it up, you say? For like an hour. Yeah, so you'd be a random <laughs> oh, other color. That would be cool. That's why they were so animated. They're like, uh huh. You want to do it? Well, they sorry. developed this whole thing. <laughs> hey, you got it right. That's what matters. So you won the game. You say? Alright. So, uh, you guys enjoy your scotches? You guys gain your eight temporary points? Those do last until gone. Oh, okay. Or replaced. Obviously, you can't gain more. Unless it overrides the number, but 
you will gain eight, and due to the nature of the scotch, it will not go away until it's used. Trevor the scotch. You can trip and fall, subtract from those. So did Trevor's hit points just like double? Um, but they can have like ten. Almost. Minutes. That's what I mean. Well, I'm sure they can have as many as like they can more have as many than as they need. Oh, yeah. But in his case, you know, hit points. from his yeah. profession, I'd say he'd probably have more. He's been kicked by yeah. a couple horses. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the head. <laughs> now, my uncle that lived yeah, on a farm probably. used to get bit by every animal there, so he had like scars of like pig bites and shit. Pig bites? They'll eat you. Right, really now. Yeah, if you start. No, that's fine. No. No, it's fine. Fixing it. No. Don't worry, guys. I would hate to cheesy of your experiences. That was a natural time. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was the nice we use it today. Hey, so, uh, you guys enjoy your scotch? Sip it? Uh, talk with Trevor a little bit. He tells you just about normal farm life, why he finds it therapeutic and relaxing, um, why he thinks he can do it. He tells you that uh, like at the end of each week, he, he comes out with, like, probably about a silver and a half mm-hmm. a During week. this discussion, I'll just... Uh, Thousand yard stare. And, and just, like, he gets three square meals scotch. a day, so and he didn't have to pay for him. Yeah, honestly, that's so Gregory, the rumor of <laughs> an uncle work is real, and I'm sure Trevor did you has heard about Trevor? this. Mm-hmm. I did. That's rude. I'm helping. <laughs> How? Oh. I'm drunk, and you were thousand yarding staring. Yeah, but that's fine. Let him talk. <laughs> anyway, tell us about Greg. So Gregory is dead. No, Gregory won the drinking contest. I haven't had was like Gregory. Gregory. Oh. <laughs> but Gregory died in a three hour long tunnel where there was a man shark at the end. Man shark. Did you have to do this for the entering guild? Also a boring statue. This was this was fun. This was, yeah, was, this fun. was fun. Is he like he magic almost died. I did as almost. a man shark or I'm not entirely sure. It wasn't a three hour tunnel. Make an it was check. Three oh, hours for a history check, right? Yeah. When he thinks better. That was underwater and walking. But he was he was just a dude, yeah. and then uh, when we apparently inadvertently agitated him, he went full shark. He was just a big half shark. Eleven. Half shark. Eleven. Uh, you know of multiple creatures that can. Probably. I've been drinking. Oh, no. In that way. <laughs> okay. You know, there are just creatures that can do that, right? Now I do. Like, naturally can do that? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. Creatures like are Like those people. cats and frogs Wait. and stuff? Wait, Probably. I have something very important to ask. Oh, those are familiars. Yes, they are. Is it possible that he was a shark that was pretending to be a person? Yes. Yes. I don't know how to deal. That's troubling. <laughs> so he was a shark pretending to be a person? One day he was an ant. Magically pretending? He could have been. Be. Yeah, or like, he had the ability in him the so whole he time. He could have been. There's stories like, like that. He could have been. Like that. That. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, I have to build a nest. Hold on, guys. i got to go bring the grub back to this hole. What? I'm going to spray my pheromones so people know where I'm at. We're all pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I got a four, so... (laughs) You guys are... As you sip through it, it goes down extremely smooth. Smoother than anything you've ever had before. It's a weird Um, shale. Shale. It is delightful. Four. uh, It's a rock. For yeah. natural um, shale and for Cressy, this is the first time you've ever had anything that matches this level of quality. It's smooth. Um, you also <laughs> notice that the guy's bottle reserve smooth. is kind of low. <gasps> as you guys have been... This is the second, third time you've had shots. So we just got to invite Dolphus back up to... <laughs> <laughs> no. We, <laughs> to get I mean, more. We just got to draw a symbol everywhere. <laughs> Should get them a bottle. Who? Us a bottle. The bottle that goes forever. Okay. No. What? We should. Bottle that goes forever. Okay, Put water in it. it. Turn it. Just goes water, 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 water. Oh, He's it. talking about an outrending bottle. Scotch. Oh, those are. Enchanter scotch. might have very that. expensive. Yes, that's why it is a goal. And uh, uh, Sir Robin tried to do that with uh, eggnog one year. Yeah, Did not go over well. Uh, Isn't that spoil? Yes. Mm. And then it it was just full of mm-hmm. spoiled eggnog forever. And that sounds like the worst the thing ever. I've had spoiled the eggs. Eggnog. They uh, he got a They're not ever. <laughs> They're unpleasant. <laughs> oh yeah, I imagine that would upset him a lot. How's Trevor feeling? He's good. <laughs> Trevor's good. Trevor's good. Trevor's, Trevor's, good. Trevor's, Trevor's having a great time right now. Oh yeah, I drink like this daily. <laughs> You've got I mean, I'm not problems surprised. you're He's running from. <laughs> he just has a really boring life. Why do you have to Far rate the man? No, I'm not. I agree with his choices. His great choices. No, we the, me and the other farmhands, you know, we go out. Sure, of course you do. Got it. I mean, we make like a silver and a half a week. So. To here do you yeah, go? You can do just you go drink. here to this place? No. Go <clears throat> oh, wherever. Not packed. 
Drinks are mostly like copper too, so more half bit. Mm-hmm. But these are not. No. no. These are sipping drinks. Sipples. Sipples. I didn't sipple. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> <laughs> there a problem with your processor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm phenomenal. I rolled a 17 on my constitution check. Oh, were we supposed to do this? I just Not did it really, for fun. but it's just for fun. Yeah, well, just I got a, four. Just to kind of gauge how you're feeling. Uh, I got a natural one. And <laughs> 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 he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hi. So that's a four all together. He's just like, <laughs> this is why I don't drink. <laughs> Way stronger than anything you're, uh, you're used to. Your double pellets. <laughs> that said, before we get too far, gone, all I drink is juice. I should show you guys. <laughs> That's right. This is nature's <laughs> juice. No, by definition, it's. Well, I guess the word, the, word, the wine is. Well, anyway, let me show you guys where your rooms are before we get too far. Okay. <laughs> He'll show you. So I'm not going what anywhere. time are we doing anything tomorrow? When we wake up. Oh! <laughs> 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 when we wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, that was, that was really good. <laughs> no. All right. Well, I will see you all in the morning, bright and early. Have a wonderful wobble home. Your family. Yes. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is this little lasagna? Perhaps right? you should have a water. This is what you do every time you go to see your family. No, this will probably make it better. What was oh. out of character? What was the lasagna character? Who was the one who had lasagna <laughs> in town? It's when his family had lasagna. So oh, that was Cedric. Okay. Cedric. Thank you. <laughs> yes. His mother's lasagna is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he doesn't have a mom. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, we, we discussed that at one point. We're friends. I come from Well, he that. does. But <laughs> he out with... I don't... Okay. He was sure. born from the divines. <laughs> Cedric? <laughs> yeah, he was just... He just popped up one day. In shapes of clay. <laughs> In his image. I like shapes of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard it? It was like lightning struck a dumpster and it was just like. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, if I could. It's like it's like so ornery. It's like it's so shady. Oh, man. Sorry, guys, my parents shit me out of garbage. Like, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest, but. You know, but hey, what I had it. Hey, my parents did what they had to. Alright? They had no time for clay. Anyway. You watch clay? <laughs> well, am I going to go to a hobby store and buy clay? No. Yeah, here with that bullshit. Nobody has Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys, uh, Mosh goes to your rooms. You guys uh, settle in, get down, sleep. You find your nest. Your bed is still in the same state yep. it was. I know. Just so you. <laughs> I, I'm not going upstairs yet. Oh, okay, oh. hang out. I'm solid. I'm, I'm. I enjoy watching people celebrate. Yeah. So well, there's a I, lot of yeah, people celebrating. Yeah, I don't. Just this is where you need to be. It's where I need oh, to be. I need this. Okay. What? Oh, helmet. Helmet. <laughs> Is it on the right I was way? thinking that, but I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> you want a D2? Spin it. <laughs> Spin it. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. Um, so, you head out into the uh, cooling down afternoon or evening, night. Um, you return to your home in the noble, uh, the patrician's district. You settle into your family for the most part, would have celebrated dinner miserably. Um, uh, right now, though, they would. Probably still be up. Uh, it literally evening talks kind of thing. Oh, I just walk in. Look to my father. Grab his hand. Put the uh, okay. king symbol in it and go. Good night. <laughs> then you uh, you head off. He kind of looks at it. I'm still not proud of you. <laughs> um. <laughs> a stunned sort of silence as he immediately gets up and. Walks out of the room to cry. Seem to be, uh, have been enjoying the <laughs> fireplace. Kind of sit. Um, but you probably figure he's going to go. He's going to go tell you, ma'am, on you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck! I'm going to. All the portraits on the wall are knocked to a 30 degree angle as it goes past. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and spend the next 30 to 45 minutes trying to undo my armor. Oh, no. <laughs> 30 to 45 minutes. <laughs> well, it takes 10 minutes. I'm going to lot some time for it. Um, it takes ten minutes sober. Yeah, with nimble yeah. fingers, you fuck everything up. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> eventually end up giving up with like Greaves still on. Just fuck it. One pauldron. Yeah. yeah. 
It's I'm a tricky sure strap. You got, you got the leather off underneath it. I'm not sure how. Imagine <laughs> that, like, spin thing. Whatever. Kind of, like, <laughs> I don't know. I imagine you just have, like, Always behind me. Two, yeah. two boots, your, like, belt for some reason, and then, like, your helmet's still on. <laughs> <laughs> like, you did all of it, and you missed one part. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of stuffy in here today. <laughs> Uh, breeze. You, I'll open a window. You retired to your <laughs> uh, to your room. Uh, you had uh, to sleep as well. What are you doing? Sleep. You going to bed? Yeah. You two remain awake momentarily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are watching the rebel kind of. I'm just enjoying human beings being human beings. Do you say that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like what, what about them? What, why is this cool? Well, because typically human beings are very guarded individuals. They do not tell anyone anything aside from what is necessary, except for people you call fools, um, who tend to talk more than the rest. And they have conversations constantly without saying anything. But tonight, there's no conversation, but they all share. Look, look at those those two people. Don't know each other, but they're pressing their faces against themselves. <laughs> and she could do better. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the point. The the beverage in their hand may be doing something with it, but they're it's. It's an openness and an honesty. In my society, there's no reason to hide anything from the next construct. There's there's no reason to, to conceal. There's no, well, until me and possibly others I wouldn't know. But it's not an openness. It's a lack of any guardedness. And in human society, there's a lot of guardedness. But here, there that man just spilled the drink down the back of the other man, and now they're drinking together. Normally, that would that would get you a duel. But tonight, they're just happy. It's, it's like infectious. It's like an yeah. odd disease that spreads to your kind on certain nights mm-hmm. for some reason multiple times a year, but only on those nights. Well, I think the key is we are constructs, you know? We're not, I mean, we're made by something, You're but we're not... Construct. But we're not really. Yes. We're not, you know, we're not made for a certain purpose. Like, a construct is made for a purpose. We are made for purposes. Are you sure about that? I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. There, there's you a lot of randomness. You Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to die. Now one person that brings up Jesus. Up there. <laughs> Buzz, Saint Buzz Killington. Um, I, yeah. I, so we're. I don't feel like we fit into like a. But there's a pattern to it too. But not really, because you just said on certain nights of the year randomly we drink. There's no pattern to that, really. No, there's absolutely a pattern. You do it all the time. There's, there's this state and this state and this state and this state. You're, but you're then more... also, randomly. No, not randomly. randomly. The person structure defines them. Is Trevor still here? Trevor is ages to okay. Trevor, how often people get drunk in this bar? No, no. Tre- Trevor doesn't come to this bar. Oh, Trevor, in the general. How often do you drink with your friends? Nightly. Night. Every night. Most of them. Okay. Most yeah. nights. When you don't drink, why don't you? No one's available. It's a pattern. Yeah. It is not so oh, man, pattern. this is getting it's way a, too deep. I like it. <laughs> it's, like, it's a random pattern, though. No, there's no such thing as a random pattern. I feel like that's what humanity is. As you look back, his eyes are closed, he's just like... <laughs> Trevor can't hold his sauce. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Trevor's sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's narcoleptic. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I think the store to bed. Data, enjoy your stuff. I will. I'm gonna watch my pattern. Be safe. I'm gonna it's like pattern. I'll leave you with this. One less character. Have you ever played with a kite? <laughs> this is the next one. Uh, probably. Yeah. Well, now I gotta redo all the fucking people. That's, that's a peculiar answer. answer. All three well, of them. Well, because I probably have a certain number right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know. Howdy. So when a kite goes up, mm-hmm. it flips goes around up. to you randomly, uh-huh. but it has to do with the way that air and pressure moves throughout the sky. Mm-hmm. It catches a breeze and it moves to another, or it falls without one. That's all the pattern. You can't see it, but it's still a pattern that exists. The kite allows you to see that. The huge human beings are like my kites. I, I'm, I really want to retain so this information. So if you tie a string to a person and run really fast, you could have them go airborne. You, you got to get the cow running first. They will, they will not stay airborne for very long. But there will be a pattern. There will be a pattern. Well, thank there you for sharing your insights, Theta. Good night. He passes. Good night. I don't know. That just is bad. Oh, uh, the robot? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's his purpose. Yeah. What is my purpose? What is my purpose? Water? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Welcome to the club, pal. <laughs> Tsunade. That's the scene yeah. I show people if they haven't seen Rick and Morty. I'm like, here, watch this scene. What is my purpose? It tells you everything you need butter. to know about the show. To pass butter. You serve no purpose. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Pass butter. So, you retire. Yeah. Uh, they you remain up. You're just gonna hang out for mm-hmm. the remainder of the evening. And I'll probably end up going into a trance while watching this in the back corner. Just uh, for the most part, the festivities will remain probably until about three in the morning when 
the crowd begins to pass or thin out, uh, either either or. Um, however, the people will remain in the in the bar till morning. Sure. So uh, while it will significantly diminish, there will still be people sleeping, people talking. Uh, the conversation will start to die down. The proprietor has actually left. He went home. He has other people that are currently tending to the bar and walking around. Um, and about four or five in the morning, those individuals actually close the bar entirely and they leave, um, leaving the bar to be locked up. Um, now you have access to the full floor, but as far as more drinks being served, that seems to be stopped. Um, I, don't, for the I don't need them. I had because I, I I had that scotch until it goes, and I'll probably have an ale, I guess, just to have something in my hand. I'm not drinking it. That would, how much does that cost? Well, you're still paying. Oh, we're paid still paying for that. Yeah, that's trash. For that's trash boots. Gotcha. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, <laughs> you guys rest. You dream. Sleep well. Um, do you have nightmares while you're leaving? No, the nightmares would be of other things. No, it's just a uh, fucking great wisdom saving throw. Oh. Is it I'm just gonna say two. So it's a two. It's probably um, enough. during your sleep uh, in the night, you the first thing you dream of is uh, an empty field. Then you dream of a <laughs> behold the field in which I grow my fucks. <laughs> See that it is Spirit. barren. It's barren. barren. <laughs> uh, you open your eyes in a field. You recognize the road as being the road to Ladine, flanked on both sides by tall grass. Uh, the grass waves very peacefully. The sky overhead is easily uh, dusk, you know, setting um, in the evening. Uh, and as you stand there, you can feel the breeze blow over your skin. And when you turn around, uh, you see the form of a sort of towering Grimlock. This hulking sort of gel- gelatinous sort of figure that stands there. And as he approaches you, he bears no weapons, um, no obvious signs of animosity. It just seems to be approaching you. And as it does, its size shrinks, shrinks, shrinks to match yours. Before, as it gets closer and closer, you see it stop and it begin to speak in that same guttural sort of uh, sucking sound that it had before. And it seems to be conversing with you. And for whatever reason, in your dream state, you get the sense that, like, this makes sense, right? You're not getting like a, hey, how are you doing? But more of a, you're like, obviously I understand. Like, he's talking to me. He wants mm-hmm. to tell me about life. Tell me about his culture. Tell me about people he's been with. And you get like this pleasing sort of sense from just uh, interacting. The smell is completely gone. Mm. And as he approaches you once more, uh, kind of put his hand out, you go to clasp and his hand becomes rubbery in yours. And you watch uh, as the back of him opens oh. as he stands there staring at you and he shakes your hand very pleasantly. And as the hand begins to deflate, you watch his insides come out the back. And you watch him slowly fall. And he looks at you no eyes, they have empty sockets, but he looks at you in easily begging for your help. He, all he wants is for you to stop that from happening. And as he deflates in your hand and finally hits the floor, the grass line begins to ignite. Oh. Sorry. All around you. And you kind of stand there for a minute, and as you turn around for the last time in the dream, you're a towering figure over smaller, terrified... Grimlocks that scatter from your presence, and as you stalk them through this landscape, you get the sense that you're the boss. You're the one. That's what you did, mm. and then you wake up, and that's what you wake up to. Oh. I'm gonna take my morning piss. <laughs> oh, that's where that's gonna happen. I left a helmet on. Where am I going? Oh, that's why my head's uncomfortable. (laughs) Take it off. Uh, You wake up uh, a little bit later than your compatriots, and you wake up around the same time as he does, um, having dreamt, uh, you know, one of those sleeps where you just had enough booze to it felt long and restful, but no necessary dreams. Um, And when you all regroup downstairs uh, after your I'm sitting exactly where I was when you guys went to bed. Yes, sitting exactly. I've not moved an inch. Do you, sure. Do you sleep? No. Okay. I can. 
Just like I can eat and I can drink, but Is I don't it, require it. It doesn't do anything? Oh. Ice cream. No spell slots to recover. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's dead. She's not dead. She likes ice cream. She's on vacation. I do. Ice cream? Is there a place? There's got to be something. They keep making it from somewhere. I don't think so. It's a festival treat, right? They have to ship ice in from Satal or something. No! Shit. <laughs> ship ice in. God damn it. So is the Adventuring Guild open now? Or Magicians. That happened. Trevor, are you are <laughs> No, I just tanked over board. Huh? Sorry, Trevor. Trevor is not there. Oh. He left in the... He went you, would have, you would have seen him, yeah. He yeah. left in the night. Goodbye, Trevor. Uh, presumably having to work yeah. in the morning. Goodbye. No rest for the wicked. Do it, gets 10 no. seconds. Ain't no rest for the Trevor. <laughs> Trevor don't get no rest. Cows don't grow on trees. <laughs> Cows don't milk themselves. <laughs> I got He's shit got to shovel. <laughs> I got a week to tell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My whole fucking life's a shell. <laughs> he enjoyed himself. Okay. He likes his job. He's happy with I it. I know, I can tell. He's a cog, man. That's right. In the machine. Trevor does make a great cog. Rage against. He follows a he <laughs> follows a wonderful pattern and sticks to it admirably. Cog would be proud. Cog is proud. Yeah. Once the creation gets down, we can head out, and then we gotta wait for Nodril to pull back. Oh yeah, because we can't get to him, huh? I don't know that he drinks often. He said he didn't. He said he drank juice. Yeah. How drunk were you? Did you sleep all right? No. Too much drink? I had a frightful dream involving the things that we've done. Mm. Oh, the things you said. What have we done that's frightful? What? I said, what have we done that's frightful? Oh, oh, um. <laughs> Making a nag for a minute. Um, <laughs> just the thing, the stuff, th- things we've done, things that don't sit quite well with me. Uh, <laughs> you want me to help you out with this, right? No, it's, it's, it's a personal <laughs> it's, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Breakfast! Uh, at present, the bar seems to be close to the. We should, we should get some breakfast. At some point, somewhere in town. Uh, can sure. I point him in the direction. There's a breakfast. Yeah. Ah, Lou. Lou. Oh, welcome. Oh. Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> Restaurants aren't as popular in this day and age. People just make food at home. And so or like don't. Or like the the taverns sell foods. Bakeries sell foods. Do lover and cheesesteak stands still halfway put up? Again, holiday food. No. The stand close. might be there, but everything yeah, you can't like get a uh, cook pots, uh, bakeware, okay. anything that makes cake. Yeah. 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 Or anything that's anything, anything that takes fire went home. <laughs> the fire went with it. Oh. Usually, this place serves food, but uh, you get the sense that after the festivities, <laughs> they work the whole food. festival. They probably have some time off. Well, would you go to like a, a bakery or I guess a we've tavern? got some we've got some rations. I'll <laughs> share. Right. This is an amazing moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nadril has oh, fantastic oh, spread. Right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have no so food. He goes to reach for no, one spoon. No. You yeah. have a uh, so uh, you come down to your morning meal. The cook brings it out to you. Uh, you wake up late due to your intoxication. Um, you're a little bit stiff from wearing yeah you know, a couple pieces, but still. Um, Next little stiff. <laughs> you uh, head downstairs uh, expecting kind of a larger spread, and as the uh, Sort of the uh, server approaches, he brings out your tray, and he sets it down in front of you, um, and then as he backs away, he's like, the mom says good morning. Oh! And then he turns and walks away, and as you look down at your plate, you have, morning, Larry. You have a single hard-boiled egg on a stand <laughs> with a spoon, uh, how the other half and looks. you have little, like, you have little croutons almost, they're like fry bread, but it's just like, they're like this big, there's maybe like four of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you start digging into it. Your single meal. You know you'd usually get better meals than this, but... I'm home late. I, dude, I thought it was going to be the, the two eggs or the piece of bacon, but it was yeah. going to be a frowny bacon. Yeah, I'm going to get like a messy. <laughs> and like some... some you open a plate of yeah. chicken with your foot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my customer breakfast. 
<laughs> your almond rice has a middle finger on it. <laughs> oh no, I imagine it looks, everything looks normal. He takes a bite, he, it's like, this is subpar. He's mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hard boiled. <laughs> yeah. I ordered soft yeah. boiled. <laughs> um, so you uh, finish up your meal, uh, gather your belongings, head back out for the morning. Um, I would assume you're taking your best to avoid people. <laughs> like, yeah. avoid the rest of the. Uh, a loud clanging noise in the kitchen. I just poke my head in, see if they're in there. And then... <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, you guys hang out. Where you guys? What do you guys want to do? Adventure. Well, let's wait for now. Let's go. Adventure. Okay. All right, got now. Uh, some <laughs> Adventure time. I'll start like a, like my little jiggle and I'll. I look. I want to look around. Uh, does the bar have any maybe like bar games? There's no <laughs> like boards that little wooden like, peg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chinese checkers. They also have, they have a bar game called Drink the Drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you win. So I win another drink. Oh, this is awesome. Who's Cost in front? Money. Eventually you lose. <laughs> Eventually. Everyone loses. That's just life, though. Yeah. Dark. Anyway, <laughs> so um, <laughs> I would say you guys are awake for a solid like hour or so, uh, hanging out, waiting patiently, cavorting, no. if you will, <laughs> Not, waiting impatiently <laughs> for one of you. Uh, Nadra, you make your way through town. Uh, the morning. Just play game. The morning is pleasant. Yeah. Uh, the noble quarter is pretty much completely <laughs> clean. They've removed all most traces. That's better than of, I was gonna play. You know, they're still occasionally <laughs> straw on the ground from the joust and everything. Um, but you make your way through the streets, past the square, towards Patrician's Gate, into Monolith Street, where people are sleeping on tables. There, some are still awake from the night before. Others are now more dutifully sort of they're taking they're things down and, and sort of wrapping up. Well, before I get to where they are, I'm gonna <laughs> lift a few people's heads out of their no, food. Uh, uh, okay. Help them out. Something. Um, yeah, make your way through the streets easy enough. Uh, the shops, for the most part, seem slow opening this morning. Uh, they haven't opened yet, but there you can see some people are still in the process. Uh, you do pass like the bower, kind of. He's like rubbing his head a little bit as he opens the shutters for the day. He's like, "Don't um, I know I wrote his name down somewhere. No, oh. it's Ken, right? Kin, Kin, K I N. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ken Maldi. Yes. Ken Maldi. Morning, Ken. He, uh, as you kind of say that, he... The between. Good morning. And then he turns and, like, opens the shutters again. <laughs> walks towards the door. <laughs> heads inside of his own shop. Even the creak, you kind of see him at the door. And then he closes it. Goes inside. Um, people kind of maneuver through this, the streets. Uh, you make your way uh, down the back alleys into towards a mysterious chimney. Uh, there is a drunkard passed out outside. You know, right outside the steps. Close his legs. <laughs> uh, and then you head in. The door's still propped open from the night before. I spy, with my eye, mm-hmm. something brown. Table? No. That was two guesses ago. Oh. The floor. Damn it! Ah, oh, damn it. We can go! He's here! <laughs> Stand up. Oh. Sorry, I had to... Eat, <laughs> Eat forever. Does anyone want this ale? I didn't want to drink it. No. Uh, not not this morning. Okay. Not it's too early, man. Right I have my water skin. I'm fine. Would you like to put this in it? Mm-hmm. Take it to go. <laughs> it's bought and paid for. It's just like a. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck it. Let's see. Do you actually drink it or just? There's like there's there's some guys like. Uh, just slap out your hand. <laughs> some guy like lays his Oh yeah. I'm drinking it. As, as we walk past, I'll just put it in front of him. Oh, Sweet. <laughs> this is right back up. Oh, he has it now, though. It's just in front of him. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Top of so the tower. Cool. Time. Let's do it. <laughs> Driving the ball. Here we go. Yes. So, you guys exit out. Where are you guys heading? We're heading towards the adventure. Adventure again. Okay. So, you guys uh, head Two. south, east. Like a fucking toy, because I had to think about it. So, uh, you guys head south. S- south. Yes. Really good. Yeah. And you guys uh, follow the wall for the most part around. Uh, you <coughs> cut right a little bit and then uh, head down that alleyway and begin walking towards the Adventurers Guild on the corner of the building. You do see it, obviously, coming up the only multi tiered building. Uh, and as you approach, the doors are open. Uh, there is currently, you just see, like, dust being kicked out of the front door. 
as uh, Madeline is just dutifully sweeping. Well, that's a greeting. Hi, Madeline. Hi. Did you have fun last night? Yes. Good. Madeline, if I may, we have uh, three individuals that would like to join the Adventurers Guild. Oh, excellent. And then she kind of heads inside. Um, she heads behind the counter. She runs with the broom in front of her. I figured you could at least crunk it um, and throw it away if you wanted to. Right. Um, she sets it up. She begins to kind of uh, pull out some paperwork. Mm. Yay. Opens up her ledger. Um, can, I, can I have your names? Uh, anybody? Shale. Oh. Last name. Shale. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Shale. 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 Just came see to it. me. You know, we'll see it. In a, yeah, yeah. It looks like, like it could, yeah, see I know it's right there. there. Lucretia. So, so uh, you guys fill out your paperwork. She hand er, sorry. She takes your names down. She passes you the paperwork to fill out. It's your basic generic stuff. Who gets you when you die? Um, name, age, Blood race. Type. My father. But don't get a paper cut. Mm-hmm. Filling red. out this dangerous paperwork. Uh-huh. Blood type red. <laughs> <laughs> Blood. I have some. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I opt out of the blood option. Um, um, she, no so you pass in all of your uh-huh. paperwork to her, and then she's like, um, "Okay, uh, we will get back to you with um, your test requirements." Wait, wait, test? Mm. You didn't say. What do you mean, test requirements? Oh, it's mm. a is this paper. Test. Is this a written thing? Oh, right. I'm over at this board. Hey, mom. We were opted out of the test because a man exploded. Oh, I was there for that. Lucky. I, what, what do you mean, <laughs> test? Do, do I have to write something out? What is this test? Um, there's, uh, there's, it's, it's more of like, uh, you have like a, a trial, um, quest that you have to complete, and then, mm. uh, people, uh, you bring back your results, and if you're successful, then, uh, your membership. Can room. you give me an example of past tests? Um, well, um, on, on the board, there's, there's a hunt, um, quest, uh, Right now? Yeah, if you take it, um, okay. if you complete the 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 quest, then then I'm in. Then, yeah. then I don't have to do any writing. Um, no. and okay. I'll lay What's the hunt down? It is a. Uh, you should ask for a copy next time instead of pulling the master off the wall. Remember. Well, oh. can anybody else get it? Yeah. What if we um, do? We want other people to get it. Yeah, uh, it's actually open. Um, there's it's a pest extermination. So. Open to who? Anyone? Everyone. But don't uh, we want it for standard. ourselves? It's it's no anybody can do it. It's we're hunting excess creatures. But do we want anybody else to do it? Yes. Why? Because it There's too many benefits the city. Oh, okay. Yeah. We can't kill all, right. all of them. We could. Do you even try it? I like your gumption. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we gotta kill some stuff. What? Like rats? Bugs? What's it say? Rat bugs. Let's have Madeline. Go over Madeline, it. please explain. Manticore. It's a, uh, uh, well, uh, some of the farmers have pulled together some, uh, okay. and put out a, uh, uh, it's the wanted. It's, um, one, one gold per, uh, cockatrice that you kill. Uh, right now they're running. What's a cockatrice? Um, God. It's like a, a bird? bird? It's a, um, it's like a, it? uh, it's like a, a chicken, but more terrifying. How is it more terrifying? Well, they're slightly some larger. Chicken. Um, they have spines. Okay. Um, and some they can said petrify you spine. if they bite you. Is it, is it no. a I was going to wait, and then we did the whole fucking dream <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was going to catch a cockatrice for my buddy's own guy, but I wouldn't know that he was oh. But I'll remember where they're at. Hurts, um. Wow, what a great cockatrice. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, he wanted eggs. Alright, so, gonna yeah. kill some bird things. I heard yes. Okay. Terrifying cockatrice. I wasn't telling you, it was for Did you hear the petrify part? What? Wait, no, what? <laughs> you bite. If they bite you, uh, you well, could, we won't get bit then. You could potentially get turned to stone. Okay. For a little bit. We'll just try not to get bit, and also. We should see if there's a potion to help. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there a place to get stuff so you don't do Actually. that? Actually. Or if that happens, you can mm-hmm. do that. Or yeah, yeah. or that. Maybe, maybe you look here. Well, I mean, there's a potion shop, but I don't. There is I a stone shop. That's not <laughs> this life down here. Make stone <laughs> feel better. I don't know if we have something that could help you. Um, 
I could do something Dane has. Well, okay. Madeline, yes, uh, please sign us up for it. We will. Okay. So, yeah, it takes down each of your names. And, wait, what's your name? Madeline. Madeline. Thank you, Madeline. She um, writes down. Somewhere. She writes down next to the three of you. She writes down trial. In parentheses. Oh, she's, yeah. she's a huge receptionist. Never mind, Madeline. Like she's overweight or she's like. Uh, I was just expecting oh. to see a uh, Bamir in here, but. No, she's, she's passed out after uh, last night's festivities. Yeah, she's nursing a hangover. Aha! I was right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should bring her one. Patterns. Patterns. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of today's episode. <laughs> cog be praised. Praise Cog. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to take a quick break. Oh, man, We're going to grab. Food, water, use the restroom and everything. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Thanks for hanging out with us, Scuba. Thanks for being in the chat, man. He passes the butter. That's his job. Thanks oh, for hanging out with us, guys. I will be right back. Whoa. Sorry we've been a bit distracted. It's been great. Have we been? Oh, yeah, dinner. Be uh-
Sitting down and knocking everything over. It's fine. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's oh my stable. goodness gracious! Hello. Let's slide back on. Oh, that didn't work. My hands smell like dog. No, thank you. I'm fine. Magical girls. Magical girls. Such a weird yes, have some. Right. Can I inside that? <laughs> Obviously not. Um. So we are no. back. A dinosaur meat. Right. Just had the brownie covered in. Yo, I just like stuff like thirty of those in my face. No, nope. came back on. I think I'm good. Well, I'm gonna remain near my current weight. I don't feel like oh, I'm yeah, that's <laughs> Whatever. I can see your shoulder. You're good. Right, but that's. That is kind of. Oh! Well, that was. You know, part for the course. You, know, <laughs> you don't get any more. Literally, <laughs> like, a, like a child, I'm taking them away. <laughs> so, uh, welcome back, everybody. Hey! Oh. I am uh, Sol Rosie's my friends. Welcome to Stupid Rules. <laughs> where everyone takes your where snacks. We, uh, where, where we <laughs> play games and. Dude, it was stupid rolls. It hurts your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, come again. So, uh, you guys were on your way to the adventuring guild. You picked up one of the. Pence. If you will. Um, and you guys were hanging out. What are you guys doing? Um, going to wherever it says we gotta go. Where do we We're ready go? to go. They're signed up. They're ready to go. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do this. Am I gonna look for a potion? Oh, yeah. Let's go. No! We're doing that. <laughs> No, I'm gonna go look for. It's not much better. Didn't you say this thing about like you won't get hurt as much if you didn't if you plan more? I never say. I said that to you. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go do that. I don't know what you're doing. All right. You know, we're some friends. You gonna go with us? We're gonna get some potions. You're a you're a learned man, right? Do you know? Sure. Exactly what I need to be looking for to not turn into stone. No, I do. Mm. Yeah, you're looking to not get bit. A hard no. That's a first, but in the line of defense after that is whatever Just I need don't. to get. But Just stop it. I mean, I'm stop. sure he was like, I'm not going to get hit by a spine. No, he there. was pretty sure that was going to happen. Yeah, I was <laughs> fairly certain it was occurring. But you didn't actively try to do it, right? I did not say hit me in the shoulder with his spine. Although, technically, my actions of being there <laughs> could be argued as... <laughs> hey, go ahead, hit me! I want you to do it. Realistically. <laughs> Alright, so... I'll go in a way that would make me go to the potion place. I'll go in a way that'll make me go to the potion shop, she says. That's Matilda. verbatim. <laughs> Matilda, whereabouts is, is our... Potion shop as she walks out. You mean Madeline? <coughs> did I say Matilda? Yes, yeah, you did. I asked her. She's looking around think. for <laughs> Madeline. Mm-hmm. I already asked. Yes. I'm sorry. I had a bit of a. Mm-hmm. It was a rough night last night. Okay. Where's the potion shop at? Um, you exit out into the main thoroughfare. Mm-hmm. Um, Aram's apothecary. Closer, closer to the apothecary. He's not incorrect. Damn. I am, <laughs> I am sorry, Natural. I'm not used to somebody actually knowing where to go in this town. <laughs> no worries. Thank it was my favorite spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Madeline. Mm-hmm. And I would follow an Adriel. Okay. Problem. Who knows where the fuck he's going? <laughs> he knows where he's going. Exactly so you guys exit out. You run the corner. Huh. Make your way back first. Into, make your way back into uh, Monolith. You guys head towards uh, the north end of town, towards Patrician Gate. Right hand side of the road, about midway, you find Marin's Alchemical Supply, and past that. There is the potion shop, a little uh, square-looking bottle with a little cork uncorked on the uh, sign. Is there stuff coming out of it? No, it's just wood ingrained sign. That's what you see. The door is currently closed. Bottle. Um, Uncharacteristically, this entire facility seems pristine from the inside and out. As you approach, the window is streak-free. Perfectly cleaned. Uh, the she makes uh, index. the uh, you know the the lattice is no dust anywhere. Uh, everything seems in very good order. It seems like even though there was a festival last night, people were probably getting pretty rowdy. Whoever owns this shop took the time to actually clean the exterior as well as the interior, or um, paid somebody to do it, or paid someone. They to do know it. that sure. everybody's gonna be coming here to get headache cures. Uh, ah. Ah. Uh, that's the apothecary. So, you guys open the door. Yeah. Who's, ha- who's leading the way? I am. Oh. So, you enter the <laughs> shop, and you know that oh, the individual sorry. that works here, uh, while not really having a necessary reason to enter on multiple occasions, uh, recently moved into town about five years ago. Um, a little bit of an eccentric gentleman, bald, tall, 
Uh, he's uh, a Goliath. So, you uh, enter into the shop where you are immediately greeted by the whirling of a mechanical uh, fox. It prowls almost right in front of you as the door opens. Uh, you see this entirely clockwork uh, fox that kind of chitters as you approach. It perks up, and then it stalks uh, away down one of the aisles, seemingly keeping its uh, distance from you as you can hear the, the gears whirl inside. That is amazing. What is that? I'm going to follow. So as you uh, enter inside, you're greeted by a nice interior, well cleaned. Everything seems to be creepily aligned. Uh, the shelves and everything are aligned in rows, height, colors all together in descending order, um, very methodically sort of placed. Uh, there are vials and potions sort of everywhere. There's an outer rim of on each wall, and then there is one aisle in the center. There are some up high in glass cases, all again street free. And as, as you uh, enter the shop, you hear a little bell from up top that jingles a few times before silencing and you hear rustling from the back in which a very tall, easily nine, ten foot door opens and a very tall, slender uh, Goliath face painted tribally um, approaches from through the door. This imposing figure in sort of uh, nice robes, uh, decent wear, and as he does, his hands kind of Greetings. You know him? No. Uh, we have a uh, few yes. people that no. would like to buy potions to stop petrification, I, so. I believe it is. Okay. Or paralysis? Could, uh, Wait, did they say to stone or to paralyze? Turn to stone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. Petrification. Uh, could you, you clarify point us in the direction so we could browse your words? That way. Okay. I head over there and look for, I guess, a little tiny. Looking for little ones, little vials. So like single use, yeah, sort of thing. I mean, how often you need more than that when it comes to petrification? <laughs> Depends on how petrified you're getting. How often <laughs> do you need petrified? <laughs> so uh, you head down uh, the side days. aisle. He points to like the far back corner. Um, at which point you follow the fox around. It just kind of like stays like about a foot or two in front of you. It occasionally looks back at you, whirling gears inside. It just oh. its little jaw moves, ah! and then it. Scampers off, uh, oh. just kind of staying out of range of grabbing range. No, I don't want to. I just want to follow. Him. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's delightful. I mean, I've only seen Theta. I think it's creepy. I mean, it's it a marvel, but it's creepy. With a freakish sort of <laughs> like, it understands, and it's just like, oh, why is it doing that? And then it prances away again. Um, as you move through the store, you notice that the tall Goliath <laughs> figure is like watching you. Intently. So, uh, Lou? Yeah. Come over. Here's all the, uh, portions you need. You do see that there is a label, very careful script written, um, petrification. You gonna pick it up? Look at it. Comma cool. cure. <laughs> oh. So, petrification cure thing? Is there just one? As you turn around to, like, call to him across, like, the it's thing? Probably a single dose. Um, further down. That That's one, I think, causes petrification. Oh, okay. I, go, I put it back. Go exactly in its spot or a little off to the side? No. I'm <laughs> just like, eh, put it back. Go on. <laughs> this person off time. Almost. I fix it for Aw. Because he, as you see, as you see, <laughs> it, he kind of like comes out like, <laughs> and then he stops. And even now he's like eyeing it like, is it exact? What is the coolest looking potion I see along the way, though? <laughs> uh, make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> this one has a skull bottle. It has sparkles inside of it. All right, oh, nice. All right, all right. Uh, what is the perception? Yeah. Uh, 20. Not um, behind you, as you pass by uh, this sort of clear potion, as you pass it, this uh, it's a like almost like an orb shaped bottle with a with a tall neck. Urch. Cliche. What? Um, in design, it's clear at first, but as you pass by it, it kind of almost like it ignites, like it changes color in, in the middle and just. Yeah, stop. What are you? What is this? Um, underneath this is dragon's breath. What's it do? And I hold it up to the dude. He's like, he's still on the, by his counter, basically, yeah. and he's like, you can breathe. Yeah, I breathe right now. Fire. Oh. Interesting. Put it back. All right. Go into the other place. I fixed that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And if I so if I see him <laughs> fixing guy, them, <laughs> as oh, as I go okay. down. To the one that he fixed, I'm going to make sure it's precise. Okay. Just, just yeah, you would be the best person to do it. <laughs> neat, 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 neat. He's just like... <laughs> okay. Um, so you move down slightly off to the side. You see the petrification. The and then next of it, it other. says uh, petrification cure or ailment remover, basically. A sort of... Uh, Is there only card. one? Thing? No, there's a, there's a line of them. How and they're much, in, uh, they're tiny bottles, and then there's like one slightly larger one, a few of those, and then the taller oh. ones, they kind of go down. But there's only one, and you notice that there seems to be only one of the big bottles, <coughs> as he probably can only afford to put, you know, one. How much one. are all, like, not all together, but like each one progressively? <coughs> uh, as you look, they don't have tags on them. Probably one of those shops where they don't do that. Well. If you have to ask. <laughs> you probably well, uh, <laughs> I mean, I still ask. How much is it? <laughs> Pretty cool. Mm, yeah. <laughs> one hundred and two gold. For every single one of them. Like each, they're one hundred and two gold. Probably for a single dose. The little ones. Yeah. Well, what about the next ones? What? <laughs> two hundred gold. Okay. Well, what about the next ones? This is the longest transaction ever. <laughs> All right, uh, shit. Um, I'll, I'll take one of the one uses. Does anybody else want another one? No, I'm fine. You still gonna I'm stand directly as center in the counter as I can, just like <laughs> as center as I can, <laughs> and try as hard as I can <laughs> to stack gold up. Fifty gold. So you stack up fifty gold for your. Uh, are you each grabbing one? No. Oh. Wait, what'd you do to me? Hmm? What did you do to me? <laughs> yeah. I don't think anything was done to you. Shit. What are you looking for? Pencil. For my gold. Alright, 102. No. That's one. You just put a pile of gold on the counter. <laughs> There's that. And I'm gonna dig around. Um, I don't think I'm well organized, so... I'll be like a vile bass that I'll put up there. I'll put my grappling hook. And then I'll dig around. Get like 50 of the gold out. Get a like, couple cow traps, put them up. Just hey, 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 <laughs> that's not for you. Organizing. All right. Then I get up. <laughs> and then finally, the, I put the gold off to the side. Hey, hey. Oh, gold off the side. Take all and the he other stuff. towers over you at like nine. Because <laughs> 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 he's just like, he's just his long stuff. arms. All right. I pick it up. There's your gold. He begins to position it in a way. And as he does, you can you can almost like see him counting like. Thank you. Slides in Thank you. Put it in my bag. What the officially call? Petrification cure. Get some of that sow. Okay. Via. Okay. Good morning. The, the you guys tank is. Need anything tanks. else here? I'm having a blast. You don't need it. Do you okay. have a? Potion that can make ice cream. Oh. Or an ice cream effect. Don't. No. Don't. I could try. Do you have like a cold <laughs> potion? Like something that freezes? What kinds of things are cold? I don't want cold. Well, I want ice cream. Want to do the same thing? Because it's cold? No. It just hurt. You need the right amount. Maybe dilute it with some water. That's how that works, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, before we leave, how much is the fire breath potion? Horrible. Damn. Okay. Well. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it and then smash it on the ground. <laughs> that was actually my question. <laughs> Money. What would happen if you smash with the dragon's breath potion? Yeah. You would conflagrate. Huh. Like what? Conflagrate. Become fire. Oh. Immolate. I can do that. Burn. Well, I mean, I can't, but I can make that happen. Yeah, anyone could break the bottle. It's made of glass. No, I mean, I can make That's why I was asking goes. him if it was simple. Yeah, me too, with the bottle. <laughs> no, with a different bottle. All right. Why is the bottle important now? It's what's in the bottle. Yeah. So. You can make the same effect without the bottle. Are you ready? No, yeah, I ready. can't. I can. No, then why don't you say that? He's coming or you're going to argue the whole day. We're not arguing. This is talking. We're discussing, right? You're wrong. Know. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Not this is when you need 
to Trevor. <laughs> you have a nice day, sir. As you as you exit, he's like Rex wave, and it. <gasps> Ma's going down. to die from the cute. Anyways, oh. who? Goodbye. I, actually, you know, I'm gonna stay. I'm here. gonna stand still. Everybody leaves. Yeah. You know, I have been. I've been in here like two or three times. I never got your name, sir. I'm Nadro Galil, by the way. Theo. Theo. Nice to meet you, Theo. You have a nice day. I head out. You too. Theo. I can't just give him a fake name. He was an actual person. Always actual Peter's things. Usually I just say whatever comes to mind. So, everyone leaves? Yeah. You yeah. find yourself alone with. Hello. Hi. Who is responsible for your fox? Me. You made him? Yes. How? Home. And then he turns <laughs> out, and he just walks out of the room, like, very quickly. Fox. The, uh, the fox walks, kind of like, it, it keeps a, a wide kind of uh, distance on you, probably about a foot and a half, just outside of yeah. you know, direct grab range, mm-hmm. but it just kind of like... I will sit it, down. I, I'm going to guess that that's happened a lot to four Rex. <laughs> sit. So we can't go. Is it sit? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is that little? Eyes. Little eyes. Okay. Uh, And after about, you hear some rustling, and then you hear some straightening. (laughs) Things closing. You hear some. (laughs) (laughs) Then the door opens again, at which point he returns with just wads of paper. He puts them down on the counter and he opens them, and they're blueprints that he used to create. Rex. They're very complicated. How do you... How do you know how to do this? Um, Study and practice. Study of what? Mechanics. Mechanical (laughs) engineering. I have a gun there, man. Any specific types of magic? Um, mm, it, mm, his core is magical. Does he live, or does he mimic life? N- no, he's he he does he's a uh, uh, not alive. Not alive. He can do as commanded. It's, it's, it's it. What is his purpose? <laughs> <laughs> to pass the mud. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh God! This is okay. Thank, Thank you, Theo. You will. My name is Theta. Theo. Theta. Yes. That's Rex. Rex. Rex said. Amazing work. And it sits. Yeah. Looks good. Amazing work. Thank you. Truly breathtaking. More beautiful than most of my brethren. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. He rolls them up. How about your healing potions? Fifty gold for the base. We'll take two. He goes over and uh, grabs two, and as he as he goes to the turn, he's like. There's like a gap in his <laughs> setup. So he puts them back, grabs two from the back. <laughs> he puts them on the counter in front of you. How many are in the setup? There's like ten in a row. Oh, it's okay. like, um, but they're try to buy bigger them. ones. But there were ones. four, I would have yeah. taken four. But he, he sets the two down. Hey, thank 80, you. 80 no. gold. Oh. Thank you. 90 gold. Oh, I bet that just gives him a boner. <laughs> <laughs> I give no, him, but it helps his OCD. No, I gave him 90 gold because I was going to give him 81 gold, and I was like, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> he takes them, he places them under the counter, he uh, finishes rolling up his plans, constantly taking furtive glances at the where 
she took the petrification potion and where the other two are gone, and he's just like... <laughs> and he goes into the back. You hear it. Have a wonderful day. You too. And then as he's leaving, he's Rex watch shop, and then he closes and the thing perks up and begins to kind of prowl, actually. It's like actually like looking around for things. Laser eyes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Repulsor blast. It's disintegration. It's a, yeah, it's a, that's exactly what I thought. It's like it's all on the fox and cast. It just casts disintegrate. He actually just has it for fireball, but it can only cast it on itself. <laughs> His, tail, <laughs> His tail straightens up the, the fake hairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anticlimactic. Self destruct. <laughs> so, <laughs> exit out into the street. You guys wait patiently for Theta to arrive. Not patiently. Uh, impatiently. <laughs> He's doing that thing when he talks to people. I like catch it. Get out. Uh, the, my. My main. My mall. What? Is that hammer? What hammer? My war hammer. I'm just like testing the way to it. Type of mall. Yeah. It'll mall you what? good. Why is everybody calling my name? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so, you're all standing outside in the streets. Good morning. Looks like, looks like around, at least it's super clean out here. Mm-hmm. In his shop. Is, shop his yeah, only right shop. Right outside the shop. What, like? Street, people, confetti, you know. Nothing Probably like bought pop it. if you hit it. No. Okay. It's like paper, right? <laughs> people. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought enough. that first, but now they've got the big thing we're popping for. All right. All up the side. Along. All up the side of Theo's shop. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's human confetti. <laughs> all right. Right. That's a form of confetti. I yeah. enjoy that. So, uh, what Let's direction are we leaving from? All right. So, whenever we go. go. Let me go ahead and get my uh, thing here for that. I mean, technically, you're just a balloon filled with meat. It's attached to a robot. Skin. Much like a sausage. What else does that thing say? Well, I'm reading it, and it says things about... It says, reasons. to the Adventurers, Inc. From... Edward Ward. Edward Ward. Clever. Recruitment. Recruitment. <laughs> Any. Description. Myself and my fellow farmers are requesting aid uh, in a pest problem. Recently, we've been having uh, an influx of cockatrice activity, and they have been petrifying our dogs... <laughs> Cats and some livestock. Damn it. That's um, weird. We've noticed an increase in their population, and so now we are looking for somebody to come out here and start to thin them out. We are offering one gold per cockatrice head delivered to myself. A reward. Where is his self? Heart. Uh, his location would be the farmer's district, which is outside the city. So sure. you're looking for the ward farm specifically. Which is not listed. Wart farm? Wart. Wart, wart, wart. Wart, wart, wart. Wart, wart, wart. Um, yes, that is who you're looking for. And away we go. Okay, so you guys, uh... Should we buy sides? No, they're terrible for combat. That's a cool idea. No, but for mowing down cockatrices. Yeah. You're cutting the nuggets off. <laughs> no, I did, no. Three and a swipe. I feel like you should it doesn't stop work. Stop chewing on my cat. It doesn't work that way. Stop. Stop. You said cat. Mm-hmm. No, I, I did too. I was like, cat. there's a cat? <laughs> yes, what do you think? Very, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> very strange. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you guys make your way through the streets, still cleaning up, you know, uh, tearing down from the previous night. You make your way uh, out towards the housing quarter, or housing district, which you've been through before, um, and you head through to, out the West. western farmer's gate into yes. the farming district. I know this fucking city. <laughs> you know, like, three things in my life. <laughs> three things. <laughs> At least three things. So, um, I know about Model Street. street. So you uh, you make your way through the open. Uh, yeah, so easy enough. There are farm ha- farm hands currently yeah, tending fields, uh, in the process of tilling. Uh, there are animals grazing currently. Um, at oh, least in this immediate area, you don't see anything. They look delicious. Untoward. Or you don't see any like statues of a cow randomly. Right. Um, so you move farther out uh, away from the town until you find yourself on the the western road towards the mountain. Mm. Uh, you've actually taken this road before. Yes. 
This is where you were attacked by manticores. Twicees. <laughs> um, so you head that way before kind of stopping, remembering that there's not really a farm further out. So you have to go north or south. Left. Okay, so you head left, so you head south. Uh, south oh, along the roadway. Okay, we headed wor- west? You were heading west. Then no, left is north, south. isn't it? No, you're oh, no. Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't know why my brain's at. Don't mind so me. you uh, you continue heading yeah, south. You do. still see people tending fields and and such, but probably about like thirty minutes of a walk, you encounter another cluster of farms that all seem to have their houses near the roads um, or the edge of their properties near the roads, and then the f- houses are pretty decently close though, mm-hmm. um, and people are in full swing. And it's not till you kind of hit here where like you see the first sign of there's just a cat mid run in the road. Made out of stone, a little statue. Of Where is it in the road? Like right off to the side, you know, like it was trying to oh. dart into the, like off the road and just got fucking. Does it got like bite marks in it? Not in the stone, no. But they don't eat stone. They turn things into stone. Well, like where it was over, bit and then it. I'm gonna try to pick up the cat. Whoop! No. Rock. Stone cat. Man. <laughs> I wish I could have bought more of the things. It's rugged. This is so funny. Look. Look. And that? Yeah? Is he laughing? <laughs> is who? It's Brocket. Uh, Brocket's dead. Yeah, but... Why is this hard to understand? I don't know. I just... I. He's deceased. Yeah. Deceased. But he doesn't understand you or... Why not? But he's deceased. That's not how that works. <sighs> <laughs> so How funny is that, though? How good is that? Sit funny. Okay. Go around, <laughs> go around him. There. Yeah. Go I'm going to take the cat, and I'm going to walk off the road a couple steps, and then just set it there. Yeah. Boop. Cat. Yeah. You don't want to like, put him face in a pole or something? No. <laughs> so it's exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. Well, no, it's not just going to magically get better. Okay. So, <laughs> like, set it down. Unless somebody gives it a potion, which costs 50 fucking gold, and not on a cat. So, you uh, exit out of the main street. As you uh, head down the way, you notice that there's a couple farmhands all talking amongst themselves. They all carry the instruments of their labor, you know, over shoulders and talk back and forth. Lo, is this the ward farm? Uh, across the street. We were, we're, we work on this, this one here. Do you know Trevor? No. There's quite a lot of farms out here. Oh. Also, there's probably a couple of Trevors. Do you know more than one, Trevor? If I don't know one, then I can't know more than one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, the big brain on Brad. <laughs> Brad, Should nice be. to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hand? You're not Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe he's a scholar. Brown beaten by a farmhand. Yeah. It happens. I think he didn't say brown beaten. Ma had a long night. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Um, you, if you're looking for Mr. Ward, uh, he owns that farm there. Thank you. He said, uh, if you go down the road a bit, you'll find the, the entryway into his into his actual property. Thank you, sir. Unless you want to jump so the fence. Do you guys have, like, a problem? person who, like, introduces you on these things, or do you just walk into people? We wander. Uh, we say hello. I would yeah. eventually hang back and the important person exists. Okay, you're going to show, show me the ropes. Patterns. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm going to hang back then after. We'll, I'll let you guys take the lead then. <laughs> you guys exit out. Head towards the, um... You guys head towards the farm entrance. You follow the road a little bit. You do see where they have like the ranch sort of entrance, two pillars of wood that are cross beamed um, and supported on either side. Uh, go through it. It doesn't seem to have any like ornate signage or anything, but you walk easily enough into the beaten path that leads through. Um, this area is blocked off. You see, do see cattle grazing on either side, and in the far corner, like off to one end of the property, you see what appears to be a stone cow. Ah. Neat. Neat. Uh, you head further in, <laughs> where you can see the house growing larger in your vision, this nice sort of uh, well-kept. What is a cow worth? I think it's like a couple of gold. Let me find out for you. I know, because I know, <clears throat> I know livestock has a price. It does, yeah. Let me find out for you. It's upwards of 50 gold. No, uh, I don't think it's That's cow. That's his dodge on it. I don't think cow's going to be on that sheet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, uh... I mean, yeah, 50 gold about would be 
Probably about right. Yeah. It doesn't have the exact one, but it has things close enough. You okay. definitely they don't have a price for cow? They have camel, for meat. Camel, donkey, mule, elephant, horse, horse, mastiff, pony, war horse. Oh, it would probably be under the uh, like wheat and all that stuff, since the uh, cow's not really used as a mount. People are missing out. I ride my cow into battle. No. I think even your steer. No, this is a cow. I want milk. It's a lady cow. <laughs> they got foods. They got drinks. They got inns. They got wines. No cow. Huh. That's so weird. No, no cow. But what they does have a dog cost. Yeah. How much does a dog cost? Uh, depends on your dog. Twenty-five gold if you want a mastiff, which can be used as a mount. Mm-hmm. So probably about less than that. Okay. Well, you can use one as a mount. You just kill it. Yeah. Hooray! Aww. There goes your spine. Can't <laughs> <a horse>. nope. <laughs> I'm sad. rounded. I can't wear horses. <laughs> I can't wear horses. <laughs> you're right. And horses elephant. can't wear yeah. me. The least stealthy of the <laughs> mount choices. But you don't worry, guys. Yourself, I got this. <laughs> you can put yourself in a wagon and have a dog pull it. Oh my God! You'd be a chariot. <laughs> I would look like Cinderella's coach. Well, wouldn't the the, the wagon be but heavy? Small. Too heavy. Look like chariot wheels. <laughs> or you'd look like Cinderella's coach riding a chariot. Like it'd be weird. So roughly about fifty gold would be fair price, I think. Yeah. And obviously inflation <laughs> and like need. hedonism, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. that. <laughs> so you guys uh, find yourself uh, approaching this uh, nice. You see, um, the house for one thing is risen off the ground. It has lattice work underneath to uh, prevent the floor from touching the ground. It does seem to have concrete uh, or a poured substance or rock substance on the under underside. You do know that certain parts of the world are famous for their concrete. Um, you, uh, as you approach, you see that there's a beaten path that's around the outside. There's stables pretty much immediately next door to them with a number of horses uh, in a fully covered barn with uh, hands sort of tending to them, roughly about 16 or so. So this guy's probably pretty wealthy. Um, as you walk up to the front porch, it is a raised, obviously, porch. It has this grand sort of front area. It wraps almost around the entirety of the house. And then you have this two-story... Uh, Sort of Vincent style, like ranch house, you know, slatted roof. Nice. Go up and rap on the front door. <laughs> so, uh, as you knock on the door after a moment or two, you are immediately, door opens, you're greeted by an individual wearing uh, farm clothing, you know, uh, pants, boots, uh, linen shirt, but he is pretty clean. He's a little bit older. Uh, you can sense he's probably a servant of the household. Mm-hmm. And as he greets you, he's just like, ah. Oh, Adventurers, I presume. Yes, sir. Excellent. Indeed. Hello. Um, I will have to fetch Mr. Ward from the fields, mm-hmm. but please come in. And he opens the door for you. Um, you guys enter into the house. He guides you into past like a number of like seating rooms, and there's a you know a dining room. And he pulls you in towards the back where there is a sort of a, a living room, if you will, like a lounge area, the fireplace, and everything. Oh, and he's like, "Have a seat, please." Whole room um, for living. Mm-hmm. Would any of you like anything? Pointless. Refreshments, water, lemonade. I'm fine. I'm good, thank you, sir. I'm alright. I would like water if it's clean. It is clean. <laughs> I'm alright. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, he dips out for a minute. You guys rest into this area. All woodworked furniture. All uh, not like stained or anything. It's like a real like rustic sort of feel to it. But um. Actually, I'll uh, I'll remain standing. Okay. I'm not sitting on any of this gentleman's furniture. <laughs> I'll sit down. Plop down. If I do that, things break. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I have a big old sword across my neck, so I'll just stand. <laughs> Kite shield and sit on top. How squishy is this? Kite squishy. shield and upholstery don't go hand in hand. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Very rare. Yeah. Or wood. So you do when you adventure? Oh, so dangerous. Oh, so full of apparel. I say we let her go first. couch. So, uh, after a moment or two, the individual comes back, the servant, he brings you a glass of water. Thank it's you. in an actual glass. Like, oh. it's not a, it is worked glass. Thank you. <laughs> I will um, spend several moments contemplating the glass. <laughs> somebody actually had to, like, go yeah. through the process of doing it. He stands there for a minute, he waits with you for a moment. Oh. And then he heads out, uh, realizing that he had to go get the, <laughs> the boss. So. He walks out the back, out into the fields. Um, he's gone for... About 15, 20 minutes before you see him come over the, uh, the sort of like hilly uh, terrain with another individual. Um, as they approach, they get closer. You see uh, a larger man, uh, not necessarily in hat, but in width or height, but in width. Uh, 
um, sort of like stocky esque. He's got suspenders over his uh, clothes. He looks worked, like he's been working in the fields with his people. He has one of those big straw hats, you know, on that you use for like sun blocking, obnoxiously oversized. And he has it in his hand as he walks. And he's got this big shooting grin on his face. He has shoulder length blonde hair that's all uh, pulled back, sort of like uh, squarish features with like the heavy bridge nose, you know. Um, stubble along his face, probably shaved yesterday, you know, mm-hmm. for the festival and then just been letting it grow since. Um, but he comes up the stairs with these heavy do 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 of his boots. Um, you know, it's kind of like muffin top, just slightly hanging over his leather ba- uh, belt. He opens the door with, with some uh, gusto before being like, Excellent! Are you here for the uh, for the extermination? Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Um, as you can see, I'm sure you've seen signs of them all over. Um, they come... Twice. They're nocturnal, primarily. They come out at night. Mm. They pick at the cows or, you know, the ones that we don't get in fast enough Mm -hmm. Uh, in the evening they'll start to come out uh they are a nuisance so i'd prefer if you killed all of them as much as we can um mr stately from the stables in town requested he wants to buy some from me uh if i catch any but not really concerned about that if you want to keep some and sell them to mr stately that's on you i'm only paying you for the ones you kill right Um, will you pay us for any live ones we have secured in a box i would prefer you kill them Okay. Um, however, uh, Just Mr. Ask Stanley will. If you take them to him, he might be interested in purchasing eggs or uh, Tell babies. you why he wants them? I'm, that man's God. strange. He collects all manner of things. Oh, okay. Ostriches and ox beaks, camels and dogs for riding. Did he offer you a know. price for any that you caught? A lot? Uh, no, we didn't really get past negotiations because I, I went ahead and had the servants close the door on him. Okay. He's rather pushy. He wants them dead, we'll kill him. So I want them dead. Well, so. Some of them? It's up to you. We'll see. We'll Probably see. Not. That's a maybe. I'll take that. Uh, is there any other information? Maybe an area they constantly come from? or <clears throat> He kind of like points his hands to through the windows. He's like, I, they're literally rats at this point. They, I gotcha. So, so there's no number? I have no idea. There's been a lot more than usual. Usually you get one or two mm-hmm. and, you know... They don't really bug me. You scare them off, you get real big or whatever, and they'll run away. But <laughs> with uh, with as many as there are now, and they're extremely aggressive, very hostile, and now in big groups, they get confidence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, do they pester your barn or your stable specifically, or the house? No, it's it's not just me. The other neighbors came through. That's why we're putting, a, I mean, a gold for a cockatrice. Yeah, no, I, I understand. We are, we're all putting in money, and that's what's adding up to it. So um, <clears throat> it's been really bothering most of them. I don't think... We've got some of it, and, and uh, our neighbors across the way have got some of it, but uh, uh, Henry to the south got hit the hardest. He's okay. been uh, he's been having things petrified, unpetrified, petrified, and it's been a it's been a roller coaster. Henry to the south is he two farms down, three farms? Uh, he's one down. One he's down. he's his house is uh, is just in the far corner in the south there. And is there any areas that you don't want us going into? I mean, obviously, we don't want us breaking into your houses or anything, but I mean, is there barns, certain areas that you would just prefer we stay out of? I mean, if it's locked, don't go in it. All right. Hear something? If you could save an animal, you know, because they do eat. They eat animals too. They also just turn other ones to stone. Is it cost effective to restore a stoned animal? The, they usually return. Uh, they restore themselves. Uh, their petrification is temporary. Oh, uh, that's why they're more. Yeah. Of a so it's just annoying. Yeah, it's, it's not just ruining a, your stock. It just yeah. means that that cow doesn't. Well, they help also you. eat some of them. Sure, they'll the rip ones. them up. No, they oh. stone some of them that they can come back later for. The other ones? Okay. And they'll eat the other ones. So how large are they? They're a little uh, bigger than a chicken. Uh, they're bigger than a, about the size of like a dog. Yeah. Okay. Um. Not this one. Are they pretty? No. Oh my god. Is there <laughs> like, <laughs> they're they're like like think of a chicken that's missing missing feathers. Ew. It's all beat up looking. And it's got wings. scales. It's like scales and it feathers wings. sometimes. It's got wings. They can't fly. They're jagged. Uh, they're, they have long tails Jesus. like a snake. It's they smell weird. Think of nightmares. Do they um, smell like snakes? You know, where like snakes. is there one particular place they're coming from? Huh? Is there one particular place they're coming from? Uh, I mean, if. I have no idea. As far as I know, they're just being in mind. Like, I would prefer they just Well, I mean, like, should we start well, at one specific We'll hit Henry's path? because he got hit the hardest, and we'll see if maybe we can find something better. 
Excellent. We could work um, I'm Edward Ward. Nice to meet you, everybody. I'm pleasure to pleasure. Look forward to seeing Hello. I look forward to working Hello. with all of you. Um, yep, one gold per head. Bring them here. Mm. Uh, obviously, not in the house. You can leave them outside. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, Would yeah. you like them on a festive string? If you deem fit. I'm not going to do anything with them other than verify you killed one. We'll uh, probably put you can take one from her, and I still don't care as long as it's a dead one. We're successful. Um, <laughs> Catch him and you put him in the basket, and Dave's just behind him. <laughs> <laughs> he said I could do this. Uh huh. Look at his son. Bye bye. So, how do you like? Do you split the gold from this, or I will be made clear in time. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Mr. Ward. Sure. Is this is an open contract. It's not going to terminate. So, right. whenever you want to do this, preferably now. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I'm going to leave it open for at least a week or so, uh, at least for payment, yeah. Uh, in case more show up. But if you guys are successful in rooting them out, then I might close the ticket or close the request. Do that. I understand. Or you can come back in a week if they're still being a menace and kill some more for me. No, we're here now. Hopefully we'll be able to take Do you have a tonight. quota? No, he's just going to leave. Do you have a limit? Nope. Okay. Interesting. No. <laughs> he's like, kind of like the house. He's like that pride <laughs> moment. He's just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's. I mean, that was part of my asking the question. It's more <laughs> of a, like, let's a, ascertain his pride. Bring you. And also, uh, you look like you could afford this, though. Mm-hmm. But... I was just happily, you know, just stroking his ego. Yeah, that's yeah, right there in the ego. <laughs> <laughs> With my cold metal hands. <laughs> so, clamp. You guys, uh, we'll head out and head to uh, Henry's house. Excellent. Or the best. He uh, he has the servant see you out, and he puts his big big Make floppy hat on, top. tries to get through the door, <laughs> fails, <laughs> takes it off, <laughs> goes out. Yeah. <laughs> I have so much money. <laughs> <laughs> I have at least 10,000 gold or something. I don't know. How Quite much rich people have in DD? 10,000 is a lot. Oh, would you like one? No, no, no. No! <laughs> no! Thanks, sir! He took the pretzels! So, uh, <laughs> you guys exit out. You follow the road back to the uh, to the main main road there. Mm-hmm. You uh, head south a little bit. You Did we leave? And yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was like she's sitting here. She's still on the couch on this coffee yeah. table. <laughs> 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 oh, we all were leaving. Okay. Oh, I will finish my water, and I will very respectfully and carefully place the glass back down on the coffee table. And uh, is it servant still there? Yeah. Okay, thank you to him again. Mm-hmm. He takes the cup. Uh, he escorts you out out the road, down the down the street, pretty much. Uh, same old thing you did last week. Um, you. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Like you, um... So he's hanging out to Henry. Mm-hmm. Hello, Wisconsin. <laughs> that sheep looks at you strangely. I named the cinnamon rolls. Bad. <laughs> oh, I thought you named a sheep Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the thing. <laughs> well, since there's no Wisconsin in the game. There and you said that out show. <laughs> there's, just... there's now a sheep named Wisconsin. Okay. I'm really confused. Cool. I'll call him Wissy. Alright, well that sounds derogatory. Yeah. He doesn't you don't know. Like a hot mess, you can see the house from <laughs> from a uh, from a distance. It's a pretty decent sized house. Um, not as grandoise as Mr. Ward's farm, but uh, decent enough. And as you approach, you can see that there are a number of farmhands that are attempting to relocate some of the stone. They've pretty much made like a kind of garden in the front area walkway. Nice. As they're just like some like retro artists setting down like the dog there's somebody have <laughs> paint and they're like painting animals different <laughs> colors like the face is blue and then the shoulders are red and the legs are green they're, no, they're just like hard. taking them and they're putting them in the front and you see that there's a there's just this like older guy who's just like in the front you know scraggly sort of beard white hair just looks miserable um at which point one of the uh as you guys are approaching up the way, one you see a farmhand come sprinting uh, from the fields, and he takes off his hat really quickly, and he's just Is like... Is it Trevor? No, it's not Trevor. And he's, he's saying something as you approach, and you see the old guy just kind of like... Are you running into a cockatrice? I'll quicken my pace a little bit to yeah. get up there. Uh, as you do... Pop out my long... Or my greatsword. And just... uh, as you do, you see the guy's still like kind of saying something, and he kind of like has his hat like this. And then, uh, 
And he puts his hand on the guy's shoulder. And as you guys get closer, and he's like, they, they turned your grandson to stone. Oh, shit. I thought he'd be like his favorite cow or something. <laughs> and we're going to go get him and bring him back. Just figured you should know. Don't drop him. His whole life is just miserable right now. <laughs> How one guy sneezes. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. It's arm. If we want to be logical it. about this, there's a person you don't have to feed for several days. Oh, we're good. It's an extra twenty <laughs> for their carry check. I would just <laughs> see how bad it was gonna go. They Missing definitely a definitely carry that bitch. At which point you see uh, the individual you presume to be probably the owner of the farm. Uh, kind of like his head raises up and he's just like. Well, we're here to take care of them. Is that what you guys do? Do you do that thing? Like mm. a <laughs> That's not. Just uh, give us some time. You'll hello. Be... <coughs> Mr. Henry, we're here to help. We're the answer to your prayers. Are you the rat catchers? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, that's not our name. Do we then name? go catch rats. Roger that. Where's this grandson of yours at? <sighs> They're bringing him in from the south field. All right. South field. South field. To the south. That what we do? Three Southfield is actually the west like because like of the boundaries the they have on their farm. It's actually set up in an interesting way. To the, the west, south, 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 south. Yeah. So oh you uh, continue through the field. You see like them. They've, they've pretty much got most of the farm animals, animals, and there's easily like 20, you know, sheep, uh, cow, oh, one cow. Sheep has to be horrible. Sheep with its rock fur. Wisconsin? Um, no, he was over by the other side oh, of the house. Okay. You passed him already. Okay. So um, <laughs> just, they're just bringing them in, chickens, you know, they're just like, fuck. And has the guy's anyone, just shaking his head. Has anyone polished any of these stone animals? <laughs> so I'm curious what that I would mean, do. I mean, they got a lot of stuff to do, I think. Pop out, and they're like, my skin is so fucking smooth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so good. I had a freckle here. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it Somebody go? sanded me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, could you, like, petrify somebody and give them a nose job? Or would they just, like, come out of a... <laughs> would come blood. Out of a yeah. It would be a blood kind of thing. There would be a lot of blood. Hey man, it's on the fucking. Well, better better yeah. better so yeah, you guys exit up to that side. Uh, you find yourself walking in the the field. You see, you you do your best to avoid you know droppings of livestock and uh, kind of like these mounds of hay and stuff. And it's you make any your of way. The poop stone. I was thinking that, but I don't think so. No. No. Okay, I didn't. I wouldn't think it. You know would what? Be, actually, though, but it's if they a were chicken. mid loaf, it's a chicken. <laughs> If they were mid loaf, I had the same thought. And they got this bitten. Is stupid. Ass. Presumably, the poop inside of them turns to stone. So if there's a dangler. Just, oh <laughs> break it off. <laughs> this is such a boring conversation. Ass. Line. <laughs> it just takes a piece of the rectum with it. Oh. Rectum. Damn, Damn near killed, killed him. him. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys exit towards the. Uh, uh, also, can you so. save? Can poop save? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Wisdom saving. What if it's very resilient? <laughs> That's some healthy bacteria. Very hardy. <laughs> so, uh, you guys exit towards Southfield. Um, you find yourself uh, crossing into basically the grass begins to get larger as you move further away from the and less kept. Um, and then you find yourself at the fence. And the fence here is basically just, you know, wood, you know, three rungs of wood that have just been set into these other wooden and wrapped uh, as a as a double measure, but for the most part, there's areas for them, notches in the, each post, you know, for them to sit. You make your way over the fence, uh, presuming that there's something beyond, and you do see the beginning of the forest that presses uh, the Orndor Forest. This is the south tail end of the Orndor Forest that leads uh, to the mountain itself. <coughs> so you are sitting there. Do you want to go into the forest? Do you want to keep on the plains? A little bit into the forest, and I'd like to see if I can find maybe some tracks. Okay, make a survival check. Anybody else like to do anything? Um, I'm just going to keep my people out. Nadra, I'm just looking from around here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They have a lot of sound. Do you know anything about these woods? I, I, they make like a, like a wispy chicken sound. They're oh, not coming right now, so I'm not like going to see if I can hear for it's them like, or anything. It's like a stressed chicken or like a <laughs> chicken. Like as though someone were choking it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I pictured like, like a fucking raptor. 19. Bro. <laughs> yeah. That shit? That'd yeah. 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 Yeah, that girl. I think a warhammer is the best way to do it. It is pecha. Yeah. You're like, no, but you gotta, you gotta have like the, the shitty dress. You're in the, you're in the underbrush, and then there's the tiny head pops out. You're like, smashing that. We're gonna break. We see it up in there in the door. Destroy a brain without destroying a head. 
Yank! Cave in the top of the gun. <laughs> yeah. nice. He's got to climb all the way up there, man. <laughs> so, uh, 19 for survival. 19 for survival. Uh, looking out through the underbrush, you begin to push... Uh, you know, some of the, the grass out of the way and you kind of scoot some of the uh, brush out of the way. You do see some of it's kind of matted down from just from time. And eventually you do manage to find some pretty decent sized, like, four-pronged mm-hmm. sort of tracks, these almost lizardian, chickeny feet combinations. And there just seems to be, like, multitudes of them. And they seem to go random directions, mm-hmm. uh, but with enough sort of sleuthing as you move through here, you kind of get a sense of, like, okay, now this one's that way. Okay, so we need to go, and you follow it back to its, to where it originated from. I should say. So I'm sorry if I'm not grasping some of the concepts here, but so you have to dig through the dirt. There's nobody who does like the legwork for you. You just come in and kill things. Like this is you're on your hands and knees in the dirt. That's what we do. Yes. We're not mercenaries. We're adventurers. Thrilling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is. The Grazia, cool. the thrill comes. From the smashing. From this, 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 this is right now. Dirt. This, this, this is you're in the dirt. Boring. You're doing what a pig can do right now. <laughs> this boring part is what gives you need rain to appreciate oh. the sunshine. Uh, it's all about patterns. But there are rain people in the sun right now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you don't know. Who you are there. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, so I asked Nadra. I'm talking about patterns on, on the ground. Yeah. For Look, Theta. Oh, patterns. Locally, no. we have. Of course there are. Damn it, Theta! <laughs> Cockroaches are all around this place. Why do you sound okay. surprised? You also have the flying monkeys that, you know, still shiny things, so... Do they throw poop? Yes. While they're flying? I don't know. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Is this place? A lot of times they but spider they're man monkeys out. and they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything, like, spooky or, like... Like, Scary anybody story. live here? Like, homos or anything? I mean... Like, hermits? Ma and okay. Theta can tell you scary story about for us. Yeah? Because they were there. Well, I pushed a cart, and then I couldn't do anything. It was terrifying. So that was the own, like, utility that was weighing on you. It wasn't necessarily the forest. The forest is made of trees. Why is that scary? I don't, I don't know. They're supposed to be here. They grow from the ground and things. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's... about the magic horse? That's, well, no, that's more no, natural than a town. Yeah, I'm trying scary to... Scary stories? Or yeah, anything about the, the woods. I actually have history, so... It's probably the one. Nope. Aww. That's a natural one. No, no. <laughs> With three. So. You gotta balance those five. Uh, I was walking. And you a remember a long terrifying. laundry list of scary stories, none of which that are hold any merit. You know, uh, there's the lady in white, the wailing child, the three-headed monkey. The you know, I've heard those. Well, the three-headed monkey, but I've heard those in other towns too. Yeah, they're common. They're Three definitely headed, true. Flaming poop throwing monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, the demonic monkey that flings a uh, flaming. Do you know what is this that you're doing? Okay. And it's also the, the lonely <laughs> child. Four twos. Lonely child. Okay. That's right. a young lady, black hair, wearing a white. Uh, Dana, what was the name of that gentleman down where we met in the shrine? What was his name? Who? Nightmare something. Nightmare Prince. Yes. Something like that. Nightmare Prince. That's Nightmare Prince. Was he in this, these woods? Mm-hmm. No, he was down under the sea. I said, that's a demon. Make you there. Make a history check. I didn't write down the shark's name. Oh, yeah, I forgot you. I wrote down the shark's name. Actually, okay. Morrowind. Morrowind? Morrowind. Yeah, like, that's, yes, that's, yeah. okay. 18. 18. Uh, Sleeping Prince? That. Uh, you heard that before. Oh, In fact, some of the students that you worked with uh, were recruiting other students to join a group of people that. That was what they called their little organization, their little group. There's like a secret club. Yeah, a little after <laughs> school, school club. school mystery. Um, you <laughs> also know <laughs> the DA. that uh, the. Like months ago, uh, the leader of that group was arrested for suspicion of practicing necromancy oh. and other sort of black magics. I have scarier stories about the town than I do about the woods. <coughs> and Mr. Nadrill, a man exploded. You know that that same person who got arrested mysteriously disappeared from the oubliette a few days ago. I just coughed and burped at the same Enhanced. time. Enhanced. <laughs> yeah. What's happening over there? I'm waiting for my keyboard to kick on. 
With hands. Uh, yeah. mm. And hands. Wow. Yeah, I thought you want. I meant hands. And you there, young lady. Yes, sir. Make a history check as well. I was waiting for wisdom saving throw. History? Yes. Hipstery. 16. 16. You're no that the sleeping prince, uh, is the you know that the sleeping prince is the name of the shadow organization that works behind, or, or works as a subgroup of the criminal organization known as the family mm-hmm. in the slum districts of Alabra. You also know that they don't, that they don't like them because they're crazy. <laughs> I just hear Italian music. Crazy like how... Huh? That's exactly like what I hear. Their beliefs are like weird and they're out there. And uh, they're like known to be erratic and fanatical. They're part of the family or they're like the family? They originated inside the family. A member of the family started his own like little group that he started like creating like uh, using his you know charismatic ability to basically influence these people into believing that he was some sort of prophet of someone called the Sleeping Prince. And originally they let it go as like, a, oh, these people are just like dedicated to this dude kind of thing. But then it started to get kind of out of hand. Manic. And now they're, now they, they regret it, which is why uh, they don't, they didn't really care when he got arrested. But since his followers are all still out there, still fucking weird, and all of a sudden the dude went missing. Uh, the family. All these pieces coming not, together, guys. They don't like that. We, they don't like that at all. Um, I'm going to kind of eye them from strangely like maybe he's like. Not really telling me. Who it's like they're going this way. If he knows about a sleeping prince. Yeah. Following tracks. I've actually follow heard about that. Tracks. Following tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you follow them into the woods. I'm gonna drop some information. I don't know. It's loaded. Do, do, do. You gonna... <laughs> hmm? No. Oh yeah, I was gonna. I'll. Uh, I'll track too. Yeah, I heard about the sleeping I'm, prince or whatever. I'm gonna. See yeah, what yeah, that one. And I'm going to pretend to be the same thing. That was the name. Yeah, or I'm gonna the, copy uh, that right. Look down. Guy that was. Can we roll anything for them? And he got to released. look at things? They're pretending to look at I'm just disappear. copying what they're doing. Uh-huh. They're staring at the ground. Where was like, he? Oh, I should be yeah. doing that. The Oblia. The underground city. That's... What have you found? Cool. So, funny of that, turns out the, the hidden cave that we found that led to a shark man apparently also had a door that led to that place, the Oblia. Mm-hmm. That's handy. The entrance Circle. to the prison. Circle. Yes. Um. One that of our is... friends, Ra. Ra. He uh. Rashid. He uh. Oh, he was able to speak. Siliana. Was it? It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a mistake. It was, it was supposed to be an abyssal. It yep. wasn't supposed to be an infernal. Yep. 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 That was my bad. <laughs> Siliana, our resident magic person. Weekly hand waver. Oh, you say it like that. Yeah, dude, magic is amazing. Believe me, it's it's outside of what I can do. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, she was able to read this inscription on the wall and just door. And then that's when we found out the man was actually not a man, but a were shark or some manner of half shark. Or he was a shark. Half man. Or a shark pretending to be a man. He was actually a street shark. Zip. That's for sure. Like He's actually a broom. Yeah. But anyway, the tracks lead definitely this way. Is an ability. Hmm? No, go on. Sorry, carry on. My stupidity. <laughs> he said something about slime moon. It's happening. Seismic, seismic, hey. seismic. You fight him. He's fucking seismic. seismic it is ten o'clock. That's what? You said ten o'clock. It is. We started a little late, but we will stop because we do have to do talk back, and I know you have to leave soon. So, uh, thanks so much for hanging out. How was this? I'm sorry we started a little We're late. We're looking we for cock. Catrices. Cock Catrices. Oh my god, uh, that should be the title for next week. Looking for the cock. search for cock. The hunt for cock. Oh, no. Yeah, hunting for cock. Catrices. So, uh, like thanks so much it. for hanging out with like us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks, Scooby, for hanging out with us in the chat. I appreciate that. We tried to talk to you as much as we could, and no, we can't. Uh, Rocco, I hope you enjoy the VOD, man, because we got your yep. little NPC in there. You finally see your... Oh, finally? Yeah, oh, that, was, no. that, was, that was him. Theo? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was, uh, and I liked it. I was like, that. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. You know so, what I was expecting. OCD Potions, man. Uh, that's phenomenal. OCD Potions, man. Oh, hey, I want to know, should I roll for copying them? to look Sure, yes. Yeah. I'm just curious. Or deception, actually. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, deception? Yeah. Oh, my Christmas is so bad. That's what um, it's okay. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, I'm sure everyone would probably buy that. Passive insights? Anybody have a passive insight about fifteen? Mm. Real quick. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Passive insight above fifteen? No. Yeah. 
Ten plus your insight, whatever your insight modifier is. So nope. if you have proficiency, then... Wait, what is it? What's your insight modifier? Uh, plus four. <coughs> Nope. Ten plus four, not fourteen. No, mine's thirteen. 10 plus so, four? Twelve. No. Okay, yeah. Passive. So he looks. He's out. <coughs> That's nice. Of him. Yeah. He's just right in there with you. I mean, I found it. <laughs> so uh, that is going to be it for us today. I hope you guys had fun. We're going to go down for a second. We'll come back up with talk back. If there's anybody in here to talk back, so uh, if you have questions, post them in the chat. We just talk about nonsense, but uh, specifically we answer questions or talk about if you want our opinion on something or if you want us to weigh in on something you might have or something you might. Uh, we can discuss. We can discuss our fucking thing in the meantime. Because I'm still. 100% against it. So, um, we'll be right back. So give us a second. Okay. I have a plan for that. Uh, I don't know. The next paycheck.
Yeah. 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 Hello! Oh. Alright, so, I'm gonna slide back into the seat here. Oh. And then we will do our talk back for a second. Oh, oh, there's a dog there. Dash That's our questions. new uh, member. He's a dog. Sam. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Sam he's a true polymorph. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, okay. He's now a dog. Hello, dog. See it. Is it a good? Is it a good image of him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. We see his perfect. Butt. I mean, I like his So this is butt. the dog. This is the bean one. He is our resident bedodal. I bean. Uh, he is temporarily shape shifted uh, <laughs> away from Sam, obviously. Now he's very concerned with oh, a squeaky toy. Good boy. His eyes are there and hang out. So, the so Dustin, exact how do you feel about <laughs> Animate yeah. Dead is you create an undead servant. Yes. Now, I agree with Soul that it is something that you are impressing your will upon and you control it against whatever will it has. However, comma, the thing is, if you don't cast Animate Dead again on it later, it will be reverted to having its own will. So this becomes... Literally a DM question of what trumps what. Does charm beat frightened or does frightened beat charm? You know, would you go based on like fear level versus charm level? Like, you know, I think it's open to interpretation. I agree with you currently that generally I would not allow a zombie or a skeleton that is under the control of a necromancer well, to be feared unless the necromancer is feared. Well, no. Well, even then, I guess. I no, no. That so they, the the yeah. So if the necromancer is feared, the undead is not under. It, it doesn't share the effect with yeah. the necromancer. So as a bonus action, the necromancer can have them do whatever the fuck he wants. He is terrified. He can't willingly move closer, and all his attacks are disadvantaged. But a, a general fleeing from war can send his troops in. Correct. Like the thing is, is those creatures do not have wills to be frightened. So how can they be feared if... It's basically like saying, like, I cast Dominate Person, you stab him. And he says, don't stab me. You're going to stab him, because I am compelling you, so you failed your save. Now, if he goes, I use Intimidating Presence to scare him. Grady's scared he still stabs you, because I fucking told him to. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. it doesn't do anything. It's basically so like I saying... Like, so in his head, he's well, like, oh my god, this is terrifying. Because the thing is, <laughs> fucking anime stabs dead, you. It's, it, you create an undead servant and subjugate it to your will. It does what you want it to whenever the fuck you want it to. However, if you don't cast Animate Dead again, then you have you have created an undead that is now just... Yeah, now that one can do whatever the fuck it wants. Yeah. He's got his own motivation. So right. It implies that while it's under... His control. It, it, it feels as though animate dead is equivalently two spells. You create an undead <laughs> creature, and then you charm it, and it is under the charm oh, effect. Oh. He's like, what? But then in there in that you know, it's the question if if you're fighting, if you oh, are fighting, you, you know, uh, 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 you a cleric, and he uses turn dead, you know, would that fear your undead or no? No. Then why would it, you know, would it fear the undead if we were fighting a necromancer and the necromancer raised are all those these undead? See, that's the problem with oh. villain enemy mechanics in games don't operate the same way as player right. abilities do. So a necromancer in the game doesn't need undead. Or he doesn't necessarily have to be affected by undead, which means his undead have their own wills, they just listen to him. Yeah. Now in the case of a necromancer player, that player cannot just get an undead and be like, hey, fist bump, bro, oh, like, we're cool, see. like, go do my bidding. No, you have to waste a third level spell slot yeah. to get two, and then you gotta waste another one to get two more, and then at 24 hours you gotta recast it again to get all four. So permanently, like on your sheet, I have oh, one spell it. slot less. I, I never get it back unless we take a short rest, use Arcane Recovery, get the spell slot back, and then I have it. Otherwise, I have it permanently marked off. Yeah. So I am trading Fireball or Lightning Bolt for four very shitty attacks. Right. And that, so that's what I'm saying. So, is, is, as far as I am concerned as a DM, I would totally say, hey, you know, that's... Unless it was either a story requirement or or it was cast at a higher level than anime does was cast, mm -hmm. you know. Otherwise, I I would say no. You you can't frighten a necromancer because you can't frighten a necromancer's weapon. You can't frighten his other right. magical it's spells. It's a tool. It's just a fucking. It's basically like saying like, here is a bottle. Now I can throw this at you and you can scare it. Yeah. I'm still gonna. It's still gonna hit you in the face. Like if, you know, that's like what if I don't throw like a wuss but yeah so that's that was like the issue because i was sitting there and i was like well and then i looked online and i found a bunch of different posts where people are saying like uh dnd doesn't have an overriding effect which means that both effects will take place simultaneously however due to the nature of it it says willingly which means even if it's feared it runs up and hits it cannot be yeah so now undead normal undead obviously can be feared they can be turned but 
for an undead that's under somebody's control being deliberately, you do X, Y, Z when I say, it doesn't affect it. Destroy undead obviously destroys, they die. Because that's what it does. It doesn't manipulate what they do. It's basically like saying, like, a construct can't be manipulated because it does what it's programmed to do. Right? Like, they have it in their little sheet that's like, oh, you can't tell it to do something it's not programmed to do already. So I thought that was interesting, because that was... Like, I didn't care. It didn't bother me. You know, whatever. Sorry. Leave them there. Again, four shitty attacks. Who gives two fucks? I they're literally there to soak damage for me. That's all they're there well, for. Well, plus they saved anyway, right? Oh, no, they did no, not. No, they did not. But each one has, like, 20 health. And so, like, you know, effectively, if they stand between me and, like, a tiny corridor, hopefully, that gives me an extra 20 health before they die. But, yeah. So, I was like, that's... It's just so an interesting... That, I would have amended my call, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't that's matter. the okay. point. You make a call in the moment. We, we... I mean, I didn't give a shit. I just thought it was funny, because I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, that seems kind of weird. So, now I was looking at the rules... And there's really no good guidance on it. It's up to, it's, it's obviously one of those, it's a DM call kind yeah. of thing, like a game mechanic wasn't necessarily intended to work that way. I actually want to see if an, if an actual necromancer in the game has, even has anime dead. I think they do, but again, it's one of those things where a necromancer doesn't have to cast anime dead to have undead, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A villain in the story could just have Well, undead. and that's ultimately what it boils down to. It wasn't a bad call, it's just, you know... <laughs> In the future, Did, you may want to consider, all right, does this have to happen, or, you know, does it not? Well, to, I was trying to do it to, well, make combat last a little longer. But like. Yeah, the example that they gave that online, the reason that a lot of people were asking about it, I guess, in, in one was uh, a, a vampire used charm person, uses vampiric charm, which is an ability, it's not a spell, on a player character, on a fighter, to get him to hit a barbarian, and the barbarian used intimidating presence to frighten him. And they had like this huge mechanical debate, and I was like, "So what would be the call for that?" It would, it would hit him. It, it can't willingly move closer. It's not willingly doing anything. It's the same thing as saying a uh, opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. If an enemy runs by you, you get an opportunity attack. If I charm that enemy and tell him to run away from you, you do not get an opportunity attack because he's not willing. He's not willingly moving away from you. He can only like if I use a better example, I guess would be gust or fucking thunder wave. If I thunder wave him away from three people. You don't get opportunity attacks because he's not willingly moving away from right, you. Right, okay. So it doesn't count. So as a, as a fighter, that's, be in, able to that's actually his been movement. in the rules of Rada. They specifically said, like, no, you can't do that. Which is kind of shitty because I feel like that's a great <laughs> mechanical way just yeah. to, like, blender somebody, right? Yeah. Have everyone <laughs> line up. Have everybody <laughs> yeah, line up and one guy's just, like, thunder away. I think, but that's the whole reason keeping it that way. Right, they didn't want people to be able to. Which I don't see why. I just think it's an interesting mechanic, right? Something to, to use. But, again, they don't consider it. Do they not have necromancer here? That said, uh, earlier we kind of devolved a little bit when we started talking about Cedric being made out of garbage. Uh, For those of you interested, some of our first streamed content was a uh, high fantasy, futuristic um, one where Sol was our DM. And it was really, really fun and we all really enjoyed it. Some of the characters were Cedric, who was our rogue. Um, I was Hayden, our monk. And we had been friends, and so he disappeared. Uh, Tiffany over there at the time was my sister, and she was incredulous. She's like, "Well, where'd you disappear to?" And he's like, "Oh, I went to my mom's house to get lasagna." And he rolled a de- he rolled deception, and to give him advantage on the world, was like, "Yeah, his mom's lasagna was delightful." Well, not just I've that, had but it later on, he said something about, "I don't have a mom." And yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the, lasagna. The what joke being about? the joke <laughs> being that Cedric was an angry orphan who was angry all the time. <laughs> Like, he was very angry, very crude, crass, and curt. <laughs> and so we, we lost our shit laughing about it. He said that he was made of clay. Hmm? Yeah, it was... No, he, I said he was divine. He was fucking... He wasn't birthed. He was fucking a gift from the gods. And he was like, oh, yeah, he was made from clay. And then it was... No, he was made from garbage. <laughs> That's why he was angry and spoke with a Jersey accent. Yeah. All those trash people over in Jersey. Except Bill Gates, he's pretty cool. Bill Gates... From TRE. <laughs> one four one. Yeah. One four oh, one God. three four. Three one. I don't know why they have little stars next time. Because they're important. Oh, never mind. I got it. Never mind. It's stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, they do have anime dead, but again, having a villain necromancer. Yeah. Well, you could always use that. Kill a player and just raise them up. <laughs> Be a dick. That'd be awesome. One of your That's why we were trying to find like, a way to fucking make him intelligent. I wanted to have one that I didn't have to control, that I could just be like, hey, this is my homie, his name's Greg. Like, <laughs> well, he's maybe an you undead. Have him do some book learning. Yeah, I and over time. 
Huh? I think I was like, you make me read a book. And he's like, that doesn't help. <laughs> it really doesn't, but... <laughs> I just thought that if he, it'd be a little too overpowered if he had, like, an intelligence. So or you could try we, that. We also talked about okay, animating animals. Stupid what thing. about the... Uh, like, like intelligent enough to slightly function, <laughs> but... Like, it takes basic commands, and then and it'll extrapolate a little bit, or it'll take you to the letter of your word. I, I that's like the that, beauty of he that's like a, that. No, that's the beauty of anime dead in this game, though. It literally does exactly what you want it to do. It's well, I, well that's like, what I'm saying, is if you had an intelligent one, mm -hmm. if, you could, if you could imbue enough intelligence, it would lose some of that ability to perfectly interpret you, and it would take orders as, like, a soldier, but as, like, a, a fucking stupid soldier. Like... Like a like Mediocre. an like an uh, an impetuous golem basically, right. but without any of the the wrath towards you. Just he would be like, "I need you to go find me some birds." And it goes out and it's gone for like two hours. And it comes back and it's like, "I found a bunch of birds. See, I there like were brown that. ones, what? blue ones, and red he ones, and they like were that. all in the tree." <laughs> Put some dates in the in the in the cake, and you come back with a cake that has calendar pieces in it. Yeah, you're like, "Fuck you, Amelia Bedelia." <laughs> Are you not familiar with the horror stories of Amelia Bedelia? The <laughs> retarded as shit Bedelia. maid that was fucking birthed off of Mary Poppins stories, but she was a goddamn moron? She was always fucking You're not familiar like, with those? Bedelia. I will buy you some you children's books. <laughs> there are a million, and basically it was, it was things like people would say something and she would take them as... Well, the author would make her take them as literally the as possible and just make these stupid... Like, I think at one point she was told to dust the furniture, so she went out and got a bunch of fucking dust and, and put it on the furniture. the furniture. Because she took it to the letter, she got five but she was also agency. uneducated as yeah. a maid. So she's like, oh, put dates in the in the pies. Okay. So she cut up a calendar, calendar, put it in, and they're like, I'm really Oh, you! Uh, <laughs> oh, your employment is terminated yeah. here. I, I only keep you around problem. because I sleep with you instead of my wife. Ew! <laughs> I like can well. always shake dick so well. <laughs> Wasn't she you guys a child? Are terrible. No. Dick. no, she was an adult. Okay, she was okay. like the neighbor name. She was a nanny named Fran, except a nanny named Fran. So, um, what else? Well, no, until she opened her mouth. Monday, Monday we've got his game. Monday, game. Game. Monday we got yeah, the continuation of your game. It's an important yeah. part of her job. Um, Next Tuesday we'll be continuing. It's a nanny. Oh, this game will continue. The quest. For the hey. Any no. tree. Oh. Now my record. Any word on our subscribers only game. Oh, no. that, is that is in the works. So so I don't want to hear your know nanny what you guys are doing. Fiction. I just have to do the made outfits so are writing for it. And we may have another one. The biggest thing is the maps. Like I gotta do maps for it. That's the I part agree. I well, if we're doing so the fantasy good. one, I'd rather not be dedicated to it. Oh well, yeah. Wait, which There's one? I want to get max level on a I got my new one, but he said he sounds like a smoker. So I'm going to come yep. up with a new voice and get back here. There it well, is. Try it again now that There's I'm not dragging over. fucking cards stuff, right? A what? I'm not on the spot. Jesus. I'm going to just fucking cards. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. Let's get him! He's just like going to town. Does it sound like a smoker? It just sounds like a little too deep in the back. No way. We could do it. Sorry, we're... We're talking about something totally different over here. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm doing, I'm doing my voice, my new character voice that I had an idea for. Just that, just doing that shit. Whoa, what's that? We can do it. Yeah, like it sounds just a little bit too smokery in the back. Let's get him. Like, yeah, he's a kid. He smoked for a couple years. Statue this stupid bitch. Well, it's in South Carolina, so. uh, we may have another one shot by me you? that may or may no, not be in fantasy or in space. We don't know yet. That's the best thing that might be in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah sorry for the sub on the game. It's taking a little bit longer. It's been, you know, that. working and reality, schedule changing and yeah. two, all this shit. It's just been hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a nightmare. So, sorry about that. We definitely will pick one up, and it obviously you guys have seen it on. Um, the sub on the game that's on. Oh yeah, roll twenty. Roll twenty. It will be on roll twenty. And so, if you want to play with us. Yeah. Sharpie. On roll 20. Oh, and you don't know what roll 20 Easy. is, look it up. It's very fucking awesome. awesome. Yep. Uh, that is where we all start. Just no. Sub only games. Yeah. So if you want to sub for like a month. Yeah, and I'm playing Igor. <laughs> That'll be um, periodically for subs and kind of like a sub reward, sub, sub benefit type thing. Um, they won't be hosted on stream, they will be off stream, so that way you guys oh, can get as crazy as you want to be, as weird as you want to get or whatever. But it will also be canon. It will be canon to the story. So they will take place in the same world, which means all of the rules well, of the world will apply. Um, everything in this one. So if you want to play in the same campaign setting, <laughs> and then, you know, when you see something, you'll be like, oh, like, well, we've been there, or I know what that is. You can break down and laugh like an idiot. Um, like uh, also, though, uh, I'm also thinking that in the future, having one of these guys do it, too. So that way, I know that uh, uh, Ben said he wanted to try out DMing, so maybe having yep, some and subs. And I, I have a book with a... What? 
like having subs play with. Oh yeah, maybe. And I have I have the uh, one of the oh. the present he got me is the um, the pre-made games campaign. Yeah, so I have uh, games Tales of the Yawning Portal. Yes. Ooh. So there's like seven different campaigns um. in that small series. And I'm what I really want to do is I the reason I want to DM is I want to make characters and landscapes because I'm good with words. I like um, words. I do words good. I like um, words. I do that speaking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so obviously... Eight uh, fabulous pictures in your brain. Tips DM for us before. Everybody's pretty much, except for Sam and Ben, have DM for us before. So any one of them can run a game. Um, any ones that I run will be canon to the main story, so that way you guys can enjoy some time spent in a, in my world that I've been working Somewhere in the ocean, there's a pig on a boat. Yeah. Hanging out. Just chilling. So... Uh, if there's no more questions for us, then we will end it there, then. So, thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. We love your faces. Thanks, everybody who subbed. I know uh, Dritz dropped 200 biddies last time, so thanks so much for that. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, I'm going to dip off camera, and we're going to do our traditional yes. outro. Stay. We're just going to do some did 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 No! Hold on a minute. No. He's so frustrated. Oh, it's so pretty.